I don't believe they've done that. They have one more coming up later this week. I don't even know if we'll see a lot of the big names in it. Right there, there's a, a good possibility that there's very little to play for, if anything to play for at all, as far as seating or, or pretty much all of that being decided. So at Columbus, you you might get a healthy dose of some names we we've only seen in writing rather than on the ice. You might see a Spencer Martin start in goal mm-hmm. because, like you said, if for example we'll, we'll get into playoff scenarios later on, but if the Rangers beat the Senators tonight, straight up clean, Canes cannot win the Metropolitan Division. They're locked in second. So tomorrow's game, inconsequential for Carolina. If the New York Rangers win tonight, whether it's shootout, overtime, by seven, doesn't matter. So, again, tomorrow you might see the Bradley Nadeaus, the Scott Moros, the Jackson Blakes, these young guys that just signed their entry-level contracts. You might see guys like Ajo or somebody you know, get a rest because we've seen that over the last few days. Stahl got a break. Shea's got a break. Pesci, Chatfield. Table Chair Vinan's actually sat for two games. So you might even see a little bit more of that tomorrow depending on what happens tonight. So there's there's a world, and, and that's kind of what I was alluding to, everything Dennis just yeah. said, where the Sunday, this past Sunday, yesterday's game against Chicago was the final tune-up, at least the final full roster tune-up, the final close to a full dress rehearsal tune-up. You mentioned Tara Vinan wasn't out there, and, and, and that's fine uh, as long as it's nothing serious. But that's a good tune-up. That's, they're on a five-game win streak. That's a good tune-up. Five-game win streak, all of them by multiple goals. That's a good tune-up. I'm okay with that. The, the coaches, their job is to have your team peaking going into the postseason. Gold star, Rod Brindamore. Shout-out to Don Waddell for putting the team together at the trade deadline, and and shout-out to the players for making it work. They didn't have a full season to get, get in the same rhythm, but they're in the rhythm. If that Chicago game is the last tune-up, it, it was not the prettiest game of the year. It was not the most dominant victory of the year. But it might be the most important because it, it sent them into the postseason with the, the right attitude of our good guys are good enough to carry us. No matter what happens, we can overcome the adversity and get through it. And if we need to steal one, we might be able to steal one. Even if we find ourselves down early on twice to a team we have no business being down to. And you won't find any teams that they have no business being down to in the postseason. Everyone in the postseason is is really darn good. Everyone's which, a threat. Which is which is why there's a, a lot of fans and, and some media members are, are doing all like the the bracket watching to see who they're going to match up with and will it be this team. Will it, I'm going, if you think you're going to find like a weak link in the NHL postseason – It just doesn't exist. Show up ready to play someone good. Obviously, you want to know the scouting report and the game plan based on their strengths and weaknesses, but every team is going to be more strengths and weaknesses in the postseason. Show up ready to play your game and and ready to mow down anyone in your way. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. The 82-game preseason is in the books, and it's finally time for the real season. That's where my partners over at DraftKings Sportsbook come in. Don't miss out on any of the NBA playoff action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. From the play-in tournament with some very high-profile teams that are uh, in that play-in tournament because of injuries or slumps or whatever, from the the play-in tournament all the way through the finals, from opening tip to every buzzer beater, DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered with same-game parlays, live betting, odds boosts, and so much more. If you're new to this whole sports betting thing, it's super easy to get started. Try betting on something simple, like a team to win. I grew up a Sixers fan. Just saying uh, they probably they're too good to be in the play in tournament. I'll put it that way. Go to the app, select your team, and place your first bet. It's that simple. And here's something else to sweeten the deal for new customers. Bet five dollars and get two hundred dollars in bonus bets instantly. New customers download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Tim D. That's T I M D. Code Tim D to get two hundred dollars in bonus bets when you bet just five dollars. Only on DraftKings with promo code TIMD, that's T-I-M-D with no spaces. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 8-777-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus, North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash basketball terms. We'll be back with, speaking of basketball, Caleb Foster staying at Duke. I'll tell you why that's big for the Blue Devils and might hint at some things to come. Stick around. 
Evan, Canty, and Michelle are unsportsmanlike. Robert in Raleigh, listening on 99.9 The Fan. What's up, Robert? I got to go leftovers, macaroni and cheese. Michelle, I know you don't eat leftovers. My wife grew up eating leftovers. She'll bake a peach pie from scratch, have one piece, and then it's old. And I've heard you talking about where the best pizza is from. If you've not had Pepe's, Sally's, or Modern Pizza, they're all right there in New Haven, Connecticut. Connecticut. Mornings from 6 to 9 on 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. There are truck months, and then there are truck months. This Ram Truck Month at John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington is one you won't want to miss out on. Right now, you can get 20% off a new 2024 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Get off your keister and get to Heaster for your shiny new 2024 Ram 1500 Bighorn at 20% off. We'll serve it up with personalized customer service from our team dedicated to providing a seamless buying experience. Hurry to John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington. If you see me stopped in the McDonald's drive-thru, just staring at the menu with my what-should-I-order face, don't interrupt. It's the most important decision I'll make all day. Enjoy savings every day when you get a McDouble, McChicken, and other faves. Buy one, get one for a dollar. Plus, get any size Dr. Pepper for just $1.29. Price and participation may vary. Valid for product of equal or lesser value. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. What are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I could get a chance to dash through a warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I could win up to $2 million in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem Gambling Helpline 877-718-5543. It's time for the Coastal Scholar Athlete of the Month. This is Creighton Blackwell from Coastal Credit Union. This month, we're at Fuquay Marina High School with our newest Scholar Athlete of the Month, Kinsey Smith. How long have you been playing softball? About nine years. I've played and I was like 10 or something like that. My sister brought me into the sport. If it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. What does it mean to you to be recognized for your work as a student athlete? Um, it means a lot. Like I'm glad I'm able to represent the school and the team of what the meaning of the bingo means. Um, bingo ball is like always something my the old coach here, Coach Clark, would say. It's always like give it everything you got. Whether you're in school, whether it's in life, you just gotta give it everything you got, and I'm glad I was able to represent that. She's always encouraging. She's, if not, if she's not leading by telling people, she's leading people by example. She's a quiet leader. Like, she's not necessarily the loudest one. She's not always the one that's gonna be barking orders and things like that, but she leads by example in a quiet way. Uh, she had a walk-off hit out here in a huge game. Uh, so we found it fitting that for her to have that night kind of brought the team up and then encouraged us to keep fighting for next games that we would have. But that, that night was pretty special. Congratulations, Kenzie. For 20 years, 99.9 The Fan and Coastal Credit Union have been recognizing scholar athletes at Triangle Area Schools. If you'd like to nominate a high school athlete, head to WRALsportsfan.com keyword award. Hey everyone, it's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. April is here. And if your windows won't open for fresh air or seal tight to keep out pollen and bugs, then talk to Window Nation right now. For every two windows you buy, you'll get two free. There's no limit to how much you could save. Plus, you could save even more with no interest or payments for 24 months. With proven quality, you'll get affordable windows that meet or beat the national brands. Don't miss out. Call 866-90-NATION or visit windownation.com to schedule your free in-home estimate. Rebound for Tyrese Proctor. Quickly to the left and Roach. A touch pass for Foster. He'll take a deep one and hit it. Rains it down off the left for his first field goal. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99-9. The fan. It was revealed over the weekend that Caleb Foster staying at Duke. Now, there's two ways to look at this. One, 
is how the simplest way you could you look at it, which is I really liked what Caleb Foster did playing basketball this year. I think coming off the bench, he was microwave offense. Just just put him in the game and it's ready. Uh, and then when he was put into the starting lineup, he did a lot of really good things. Uh, at times, he was the most immediate offense they, they had when things were struggling. That's, that's valuable. The more complicated way is in modern college basketball, every decision kind of reveals a little bit about the inner workings of a team. We now have Tyrese Proctor and Caleb Foster returning. Those are two former five stars to could go anywhere in the country and make a whole bunch of NIL money that they're two very highly thought of players. We asked the same question with when Seth Trimble hit the transfer portal from uh, UNC. Does that mean RJ Davis was coming back? So is Caleb Foster staying? Does that mean Jeremy Roach is not coming back? And that's playing time that is now available for Foster to slide into. Or is he thinking, ah, I'm going to replace Jared McCain? There's a couple different ways to, to move in this place. What I do know is this. Uh, Jeremy Roach, Tyrese Proctor, and Caleb Foster would be a very veteran backcourt. Would be experienced. They've all lived a life. Oh, yeah. They could all be. I talk about how Jeremy Roach this past year played the role of when things got chaotic to grab the basketball, put it under one arm like a like a football, take his other hand and put palm to the floor and go, calm down, everybody. Yeah. Hey, Easy. Deep breath. When when all the youngsters are running around trying to like they're down six and they're all trying to make seven point shots, mm -hmm. he grabs the ball and <laughs> easy. One bucket it, it there's nine minutes left in the first half. Let's chill. They could all do that. Roach obviously can. Proctor going to be a junior. Caleb Foster, a, a sophomore next year, but has been through it. The injuries, the the playing time, the coming off the bench. He's done a lot. He's seen a lot, and he's experienced a lot. Interestingly enough, if I'm John Shire, I'm putting as much recruiting effort into those three guys as anything else I have going on. Here's why. Uh, I went up in because, uh, you know, my the other thought is, wow, is Caleb Foster really going to come back to come off the bench? They have the number one recruiting class in the country, and there are six names on that that recruiting class. And I, I guarantee you all those top ten recruits in the country aren't expecting to show up and, you know, be eighth guys off the bench. So I went and looked up the recruiting class, and more specifically, I looked up their positions according to 247 Sports, and 247 Sports is one of the authorities on, on high school basketball recruiting. These are the positions of the recruiting class. Small forward, center, small forward, small forward, center, small forward. There's a bit of redundancy in the recruiting class there, Coach. Uh, there are wings of varied skill sets. Mm -hmm. There's slashers, there's shooters, there's three and D guys, there's there's a varied skill set within the position. But one thing there is not is any true ball handlers, true primary ball handlers. Cooper Flag can bring the ball up, don't get me wrong. You can run your offense through him, as you can somebody like Darren Harris and maybe Isaiah Evans from up there in the, in the Charlotte area. But they're not the guys who are setting up teammates as much as you'd think. Now, Caleb Foster is a scorer, but Roach and Proctor are very much setup guys, and Foster can kind of do some of that. He can break a press with the dribble. Without true primary ball handlers, ball handlers in the recruiting class, I think bringing all three of those guys back becomes a priority. Mm -hmm. We talk about re-recruiting, that you re-recruit them as if they are quintessential pieces of your <laughs> recruiting class. Well, on the uh, on the the Brotherhood podcast, which is like the Duke players mm -hmm. run and, and have their own thing going, they they being Proctor and Foster said they never even considered transferring, like never even crossed their mind. Like Foster said, thousand percent committed to Duke, which is great for if you're if you're John Shire, that's a great thing to hear. It uh, it's a wonderful thing to hear. What I will say is on the Brotherhood podcast where I'm reaffirming I'm coming back to Duke yeah. would not be the time where I went, you know, I considered Arizona. Like, yeah, very true. <laughs> that very would not be, not be where I decide to let him in on my inner workings where I'm like, you know, I talked with my family and I wanted to move closer to home. Like, I, I, I wouldn't bring it up there. But, it, I mean, it is – it's 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 great, right? It, 
you know, there's the the knock on on Duke, and you hear this from other fan bases: is it's not a brotherhood, it's a semesterhood, mm-hmm. right? You're only there, and then you you either get run out by someone else taking your playing time, or you get run out because you're going pro. Uh, they're starting to have perimeter players. If it works out this way, with all three of them back, and we haven't heard from Roach, perimeter players that are very much hanging around, and and it's. I don't know if it's as true, but it used to be a a like foregone conclusion. It used to just be assumed that in March you needed veteran guards. You you could have your one and done forwards or your one and done flamethrower shooting guard, but you needed when the ball is in their hands a ton in March. You needed veterans there. We're talking you know, it's very experienced sophomores, but really juniors and seniors, right? Either high high usage, because every once in a while you get a sophomore that feels like a senior, right? And mm-hmm. it just it happens. There's how much they play. Wise beyond their years. They listen to, you know, classic rock. Uh, and and uh, But now, like, Proctor is a legit upperclassman. Feels like he just got there, but he's been in college for two years which means next year will be his third. He's a junior, even though he got there early, reclassified. Jeremy Roach will be a five-year guy if he sticks around. And and Foster, as I said, he's a sophomore, but he's a sophomore that's seen some things, right? He was forced to grow up early. He was in a six-man rotation and then dealt with an injury. That's a lot to deal with at a school like Duke. So even if these guys are – uh, you know, just deciding which of the young bucks is going to get the ball a ton, them making that decision is better than than whoever else might be in that mix. Caleb Foster staying at Duke, that's a big recruiting win for John Shire, even though it's it's a re-recruitment. It's a big recruiting win for John Shire. One thing we do know about him, though, is he is a fantastic recruiter, so I'm not surprised that oh, yeah. they're going to win the offseason. I w- will they get the most out of their, their lineup next year? I don't know. But the best lineup they can try to get the most out of includes those three guys. And plus as well, with all those young guys that you mentioned that are coming in, mostly you know, wing I players and them. forwards yep. and all that kind of stuff, it helps for them that, hey, guess what? You don't have to be a primary ball guy. We got the experienced guys to do that. You play your role, and you can work. If you'll, you'll find your game as the season goes along. We got guys that know how to do this right now. Follow their lead. I think that's the biggest thing. It's something intangible that it takes some pressure off of Cooper Flagger and these other guys. Because you look at, like, um, you know, Isaiah Evans, who I brought up from Charlotte, or mm-hmm. Darren Harris from from Northern Virginia. Um, these guys – and in, in, maybe not in the all-star circuit, all the, the EYBL and everything, but on their – at least their high school teams, they create for themselves. Oh, they, they create. Now it's like, you know, where do you like the ball? Let Tyrese Proctor get you there, mm-hmm. get you to where you like the ball, you know, with space. Where do you like the ball? Caleb Foster is going to slash, and when everybody collapses on him, he's going to kick it to you on the wing of your preferred <laughs> catching. It's like th- that's a different beast for a lot of these guys, unless it's it, like Nike Summit and th- those things they've dealt with a little bit of it. But it's it's going to be a nice nice surprise for them. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Hey, Dennis Cox here with my friends over at Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School. Check them out online, deepriversportingclays.com. I'm actually going to throw this one out there to all the brides and grooms-to-be. I know wedding season's popping up, and basically it's it's kind of underway, and I know a lot of people even maybe getting married this fall. Maybe you're looking for that unforgettable getaway to celebrate your last shot before tying the knot. Head to Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School. Bring your wedding party for, party for an adrenaline-pumping day of clay target shooting in a stunning natural setting. The expert staff over there at Deep River Sporting Clay and Shooting School will guide you through an exciting and safe experience with everything you need. Then, afterwards, after your round of clays, kick back in a beautiful outdoor pavilion where they can provide delicious food and drink while you relax with your closest friends. So your bachelorette party, your bachelor party, make it one to remember at Deep River Sporting Clays and Shooting School. Book today, deepriversportingclays.com. Again, deepriversportingclays.com, and let the adventure begin. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Coming up next, the Masters took place over the weekend, and I get to hit you with one of my favorite pieces of advice. Appreciate greatness. I'll tell you why next. It's bow time. Something new just dropped at Bojangles. Take the bold taste of a crispy golden chicken supreme that's been seasoned to perfection, then add dill pickles, Carolina gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go. 
What do you get? You get a Bose Bird Dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks. So when you're on the go, headed to practice, or need a snack, grab a Bose Bird Dog. Hurry in before they're gone. Available for a limited time. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time, but sometimes it's go time. No time to stop. Introducing Bojangles' new Bird Dog, a seasoned to perfection Bojangles Chicken Supreme, dill pickles, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, all on a toasted bun. Great on the go. Try two bird dogs for just $5 or a two bird dog combo for just $8. Hurry, Bo's bird dogs are available for a limited time only. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bo time. We buy any car. Why sell your car at webuyanycar.com? Because selling it yourself can be, well, you know. Okay, I'll give you half now. And? No, and just half. What? Avoid the hassle. Come to We Buy Any Car instead. Get in, get out, and get paid at a fair price. Yeah, I can't do half. I could probably bump it up to like 50%. Just go. Okay. Get your free online valuation now at We Buy Any Car. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free from credit cards, car loan, and personal loans. Hey, it's Dennis Cox. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes. With almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle, you can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average home owner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards. Get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips and approval is just minutes away. Call now, 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. He's a former coach with two sons who played professional basketball. Satch Sullinger is a competitive individual, but his golf game was suffering because of painful joints. Right, that's real important, the golf game. Right, as we get older, we create these bad habits because we're relegated to hit a certain way. QC Kinetics used regenerative treatments, all natural healing properties from Satch's own body to restore those damaged joints and get his golf game back on track. QC Kinetics Regenerative Medicine is regenerating me. All natural. And that's what I'm about. I'm going to tell everybody why I'm better. Oh, and by the way, it looks like the competitive Satch is back. We're all in the same boat, and I'm getting better, and I'm watching them stay old. Go to QCKinetics.com. Get relief and your game back. Call for your complimentary consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. In Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest, 919-400-5473. Hey, John, why so glum? I just got let go. The company's downsizing. This is the third time in the last two years. I'm done with this. Have you thought about my computer career? I've heard they can train you for a career in IT in just a few months, including cybersecurity and the basics of AI. And you don't need prior training or experience. Now that's a recession resistant career. Wow, thanks. I'll check them out. Go to mycomputercareer.edu and take the free career evaluation. mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. It's playoff time in the NBA and the NHL. Baseball's in full swing and FanDuel is your place to bet on every game. Adam Gold here and right now new customers can get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you make your first $5 wager because you know me. Go to FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold to get started. FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold. Then you can bet on anything, slap shots, home runs, slam dunks, all on an app that is safe, secure, and easy to use. $200 in bonus bets await when you place your first $5 wager. Visit FanDuel.com, promo code Adam Gold. FanDuel is America's number one sportsbook. Must be 21 and older and present in North Carolina. First online real money wager only, $10 deposit required. Bonus is issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at fanduel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. 
Scotty Scheffler went absolutely bananas over the weekend. And then, you know, talk about winning ugly. I don't think he had his A game. Won the Masters by multiple strokes against one of the strongest fields in professional golf. And he was out there like, yeah, you know, probably could have played about eight strokes better. So like the Canes this weekend, basically. Like the Canes only if the Canes were playing simultaneously like the four best teams at the NHL. Fair. Uh, His heater may have hit a new level at the Masters. Uh, There are people, and I'm not amongst them, but heck, I'm not that far from being converted, uh, hinting he might hit the the slam, meaning all four majors this year. He's He's got one. But if he plays – Well, it's a good start. <laughs> yeah, you, can't, you can't win them all if you don't win the first. Uh, if you include the players, which some do, call it the Scotty Slam. If he gets all five, he's got two of the five. Scotty Scheffler was asked about his recent success. Do you sense that you're doing something different and something special right now? I try not to to think about the past or the future too much. I I love trying to live in the present. I've had a really good start to the year, and I hope that I can continue on this this path that I'm on. I'm going to continue to put in the work that's that's got me here. You want to talk about how most golfers don't think? (laughs) Right there. You mean in the present? If I hit one good shot, I step to the next one with the most confidence of any person in the history of the world. If I hit a bad shot, I step to the next shot with the least amount of confidence of anyone in the world. This guy, meanwhile, with millions and millions and millions of people watching him and millions and millions and millions of dollars on the line, just living in the present. Maybe that works. Maybe maybe everyone should work on that. Um, here's the, here's the, the cautionary tale, though. Scotty Scheffler does not seem like this heater will end. He is the best ball striker on planet Earth right now, and and he gets himself into trouble and he gets out of trouble. People are doing, you know, like I said, they're they're starting to count how many different majors he'll win. Will he win eight? Will he win ten? Will he be double digits? Will he be Tom Watson? Will he be Gary Player? Will he be in the Jack Tiger category? Will he be? Will he be? There's cautionary tales of players that have reached this point, a bunch. Amongst them, Tiger Woods. Tiger Woods is a cautionary tale of enjoying some. Make sure you enjoy something while it is happening rather than just constantly thinking about the future. Right? Everybody with Tiger, he wins one. All right, is he going to get to 25? He got to 15. Still, there might be more to come. Don't let me... You know, don't let me be the one to doubt him, but he's got 15 majors and and there used to be the conversation on how many over 20 he'll get. And you might've missed like 10, 11, 12, because you're sitting there going, well, is he going to get to 25 with Scotty? The same thing. Well, is he, is he going to win the slam? Is he, is he going to win the the open? Is he going to win the the U S open? Is he going to win the PGA? Is he going to win the masters back to back? Will he beat this? Will he beat that? How about right now this dude is on an absolute heater and he just beat one of the best fields in golf with his B game, B plus game? Tiger knows what that feels like. He's won tournaments with his B game. Now it felt like we got his A game on Thursday and Friday just to make the cut. Here's Tiger Woods on his performance. It was a good week. It was was a good week all around. Um, I think that – Coming in here and having not have played, you know, a full term in a very long time, it was a it was a good fight a good fight on Thursday and Friday. Unfortunately, yesterday didn't quite you know turn out the way I wanted to. Today, um, the round that I, way the way that Tom is playing is what I thought I had in my system. Unfortunately, I just didn't produce it. We are celebrating Tiger Woods making a cut. which is deserving of celebration at this point because at times it looked like he could barely walk around the course. But we are celebrating Tiger Woods making a cut. So far from what we'd be celebrating for Tiger at this time in his career. But that's just one. What about this? When Rory McIlroy won his fourth major, did anyone think he would be 10 years later still sitting on four majors? No. The confidence would have been as high as it is for Scotty right now. When Jordan Spieth was was rolling through everybody at 21, 22 years old, 
Did anybody think we'd be sitting here at this point? He's still on the same amount of majors. No. You could even say it for Colin Morikawa. Colin Morikawa is only like 25, 26 years old, but he picked up two majors the first time he played in those majors. Bet you would have thought by now he'd have more than two. He does not. So appreciate what Scotty Scheffler is doing because it might end. I don't think it is. You don't think it is. Everyone I know in golf doesn't think it's going to end. But I bet if we could go back in time, we would have said the exact same thing about Rory, the exact same thing about uh, uh, Spieth, the exact same thing about Tiger the last time they won majors. Well, maybe Tiger two times ago. 2019, we were all, enjoy this one because we might not get it again. Yeah, exactly. That was like, oh, wait a second. But previously. The sun came back up. Him walking off and giving a hug to to Charlie. Anyway, hopefully it happens again. Anyway, the other cool part about the Masters, and, and then we'll move on, is you don't have to win to have a heck of a week. Akshay Batia, guy from Wake Forest, lives in Wake Forest, home course right around here, finished tied for 35th. It's a great week for him. Great week. First time playing in the Masters. Didn't know he was going to be playing in the Masters until the previous Sunday when he won. Went from like, oh, you know, I'll probably be watching, maybe playing in an alternate event, uh, to I got to get to Augusta and play some practice rounds in, in a second. He played better on Sunday than he played on Friday or Saturday. That's a huge win for a young player. By the way, he's 22 years old, one of the most talented guys on tour. Grayson Murray. From Raleigh. Do you know what he did? Showed wild amounts of of intestinal fortitude. I'm going to read you his scores, okay? 76 on Thursday. Not the best. 74 on Saturday. A little better. 78 on – or sorry, that was 74 on Friday. 78 on Saturday. There's the motion of like, uh-oh, wheels are falling off. Boom, under par 70 on Sunday. That is, that is determination that you can build on. Bring that grit and grind right back here to Raleigh. Get ready for your next tournament and go win the darn thing. And then there's this story of amateur Neil Shipley. Neil Shipley was the only amateur to make the cut. So he's the only amateur playing on Saturday and Sunday. He got to play Sunday just by luck of, of where they were situated on the, the um, leaderboard with Tiger Woods at the Masters on a Sunday. He is a grad student from Ohio State. That is a lifetime memory right there. There's some saying he passed the Tiger Woods inner circle test. A, a After his round, which, by the way, he beat Tiger Woods on Sunday, the round they played together, 77 for Tiger, 73 for Neil Shipley. I don't care if he's playing on one leg. You take that scorecard, you frame it, and you put it on your wall for the rest of your life. You make that your Twitter profile. <laughs> Sunday at the Masters, I beat Tiger Woods while playing with him. But here's where they're, they're saying he passed the, the Tiger Woods inner circle test. Okay. A reporter after the round on Sunday asked him, hey, I saw Tiger pass you a note on the 8th fairway. What did that note say? That's what Neil Shipley did. His eyes darted around the room, and he said, ah, that did not happen. I, I'm not saying the reporter's telling the truth. I'm not saying he didn't see something. I'm saying if that was like a personal phone number and hit me up when you need help, love your game, if that were some bit of advice for turning pro, if that were something from Tiger Woods, you better believe Tiger didn't want everybody to know he was passing that around. Yep. So the, the correct answer is, I do not recall. I, I have no idea what you are talking about. Why would you ask me that question? I don't know what. Why? Why, I, I, why would you ask me that? Uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, Tiger, I played with Tiger today. I have no idea what you are talking about. Who's that? Hmm? That's, that's, he may have just, you know, earned, I, I don't know if you've seen like Jersey Boys where the, the mob guy rips the $100 bill and gives it to, uh, yeah. the singer, like you can, you can cash this in for one, one favor anytime. I mean, that, that might have been the, the ripped up dollar bill. Passed. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. That happened over the weekend. Another thing that happened over the weekend was the Savannah Bananas were in town. They were. It was a fun time. Dennis, you went. I did. I got to go yesterday. 
I, I have not been. I've obviously seen the social media stuff because mm-hmm. it goes viral every 20 minutes. Did, did good for adults as it is for kids? Oh, I, yeah. I, the, the kids stuff is. My girlfriend and I went. We had a blast. We had an absolute blast. I mean, it's it's for anybody. It's for anyone and everyone because they have something going on that will entertain you, whether it's the actual game itself, which they play fast, by the way. They put a two-hour time limit on the board, and they finished a full nine-inning game in under the two hours. Did you catch – I know they have the rule where if uh, if somebody in the, the stands catches a foul ball, it's an out. Yeah, did like, that actually didn't out? happen. That no? actually didn't happen during the game. But that is actually one of the rules that they have. And they just – they do things different than a normal baseball game to, to make things fun. So, for example, if there's a runner on base or just at any point and there's a walk to the batter, everyone on the field has to touch the baseball. And during oh, that right, time, right, 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 anyone right. can advance as far as they can during that time. So it's just kind of like a So anytime there's a thing. walk, it's like ding, 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 pure chaos. Kind of, yeah. It's around like around oh, okay. the horn, balls getting whipped around. Exactly, as opposed to like, all right, let me just trot down to first base, and someone just walks over to second, whatever it might be. You can go from first to third, or from second to home. And the way they do scoring is a little bit different as well. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So they don't do traditional like, oh, you like have like five runs to four. It was in one inning, for example, if the the party animals is the other team they play against. Of course, if they score two runs and the bananas score one, you win the inning, so you get one point. Okay. So they do all the way that up until the ninth inning. Then every run you score in the ninth inning counts as a point. So it's just a little bit different. It's just a little bit different. So so here's what always pops up when the bananas come through, the globetrotters mm-hmm. come through, any of these more entertainment models, is should other professional sports organizations obviously not go that far but learn something from them? Oh, 100%. So I have, I have a hard time with this. Okay. Because – I th- like what they do is awesome, right? And I'm I'm making fans of a sport. Uh, you know, I remember seeing the Globe Trotters and the Bananas weren't around when I was a kid, but seeing the Globe Trotters when I was a kid, I remember individuals. I remember remember certain gags. I reference them sometimes as uh, as as analogies here on the show. Uh, one of my favorite bits ever is guy shot a half court shot, missed it. And I was probably like seven at the time, and I was like, oh, gosh, he missed it. He grabbed the microphone, said, I know the problem. I was too close. Took 10 steps further back, missed it, grabbed the microphone, said, I know the problem. I was too too close. Take 10 steps back, made it. And what I didn't realize at the time was he was just going to keep moving back till he made it. Exactly. And, and it was going to be a, a successful punchline <laughs> regardless. Uh, but as a kid, I was like, that's hilarious. Like, I remember all of that stuff. I think what it is is great. As a former athlete, I think it needs to be delicately balanced. Sure. Because the bananas, the globe trotters, they are every bit like entertainers as they are athletes. Mm-hmm. Professional athletes, when you get to the professional, like above minors and all that, they have to like those are finely tuned athletes that put in a lot of work. And I know it's a game, children's game, and adults get to play it. It's still their profession. It, yeah, it's yeah, like you don't want you don't want um I can't imagine what coaches would do, but you don't want like a circus every media timeout. Sure. Where you're, you, you know, Red Panda at halftime, fantastic. Red Panda during a 30-second timeout, I'm like, hey, I don't know. I don't know. It's it's a little different there. Um, but I do understand that it's an entertainment product, and if you're going to sell tickets, you got to sell tickets. Mm-hmm. So um, how about this? For every game you are below 500, <laughs> you get, like, another added attraction, right? Because, that, like, the Canes. We talk about the Canes. Mm-hmm. The Canes, to me, their whole vibe is awesome. I was telling you all, all fair earlier yeah. today. When I moved to this area and started saying, like, oh, you know, the, I'm going to cover the Canes, want to go to see some games, everyone in this area was, before they even got to, like, oh, they're really good, went to – Oh, your son is gonna love it. They're they're the the atmosphere is so family friendly, and there's a lot going on, and and it's so welcoming. It's great. That is wildly important for building a fan base. I think winning is more important to building a fan base. You get behind winners, whether there's you know the shell game on the jumbotron during timeouts or not. Yeah. So the worse you are, I think the more you should bananas it. <laughs> I think you should go more bananas. Go bananas. <laughs> I think you should go more bananas the worse your team is. Charlotte Hornets, 
I'm, I'm thinking if the ball goes in the stands, they should be able to take a shot for a three. Like like the the, the Charlotte Hornets, more of that. And by the way, I'm joking about that. But they, they should have more emphasis on making sure it's a, it's an inclusive environment, making sure everybody is having a good time. Uh, meanwhile, the Canes, right, they're getting ready for a postseason run. I don't know. I don't know if they should be doing all the extracurriculars, especially if it's going to distract the team. Well, I think the the Canes really leaned to it, leaned into it back in 2018, 2019 when they started doing the storm surge after games, and they started. Like Justin Williams, we talked about this with Adam Gold a while back, was he started realizing that people started to stick around towards the end of games because they wanted to see the next thing that they were going to do. Because I remember they did like the bowling, they played basketball, they they did like a mock baseball thing on opening day, they played football, they did a whole bunch of different stuff, and it was part of the entertainment as a fan. And again, that was post-game, player-led. Uh, like With the Savannah, Savannah Bananas, they leaned all in on that with the skits and all that kind of stuff, but they were still playing a baseball game. It was like in the ninth inning, there was like a line drive double play at first base, and I was like, like legit baseball player. Yep. Like they're still out there playing, but they lean in heavily towards the entertainment. You can pull aspects from understanding, especially when it's minor league baseball and some of yep. these other levels, is that you want people to come into your stands and have a good time and have a great experience. The fan experience has to be more than just what I'm seeing on the field or I'm seeing on the ice or seeing on the court because that is what gets people to continue to come, especially when ticket prices and parking prices and concessions are continuing to go up and up and up. You have to give me more reason to go to a game. If I'm going to pay more, I should get more. True. As simple as that. If I'm paying more, I should not be getting the exact same thing. The the And I think this is what is, is giving me pause. Uh, when I was playing, we were – you know, 24,000, 25,000 seat stadium at the mm-hmm. University of Delaware, nothing crazy, but they would do all the Jumbotron games and everything. And I just remember the coaches preseason, if they used to play a uh, jump around and they, they had a pre season video of players, you, you, you jump and you try to get the, the fans into it. If you were caught looking at the Jumbotron, watching your teammates do the jump around, or they would sometimes do like, uh, they'd ask seven guys, uh, you know, what, what was your favorite cartoon growing up? And they'd play it on the, the Jumbotron during oh, a – they do a, that a, stuff a, like a Canes and all yeah. that. Yeah. If we were caught looking at that, even if you were, like, buried on the depth chart and never going to play, if you were just caught, like, watching it, coaches would go bananas. Because you got to be locked in, you got to be fo- – that didn't mean go bananas. Yeah. They would go – they would be very angry with you. Uh, and, and I think that framed the way I look at all of that, where it's like the players – do not participate in the fun. Uh, and if fun is everywhere, it's really hard not to see it. Uh, like, I don't know how you you do some of the banana stuff without distracting everybody. Uh, but it was fun for you and, and your girlfriend time. and everyone I know that's seen him. It's been been a blast. It was a great time. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Quickly here, I just want to put a shout-out to uh, Harrison Ingram of UNC uh, with basically uh, the, the, the judge from Caddyshack. Well... We're waiting. Are you coming back to UNC or not? Because here's here's why I think it's important. He isn't easy to replace. Versatility isn't as easy to readily find in the portal. Like what he does. I'm going to say something, and I'm going to need you, UNC fans, to wait 45 seconds before you get mad at me. I think he's more difficult to replace in the portal than R.J. Davis. Because R.J. Davis hasn't said he's coming back either. But I'm looking at Harrison Ingram saying, make a decision. Here's why. You won't find R.J. Davis quality in the portal, right? You're not going to find, like, potentially the – if he comes back, he'd be the favorite to be the Wooden Award candidate next year or Wooden Award winner next year. You're not going to find that. But you can find his style of player, right? You can find – a 6'3", score first shooting guard that can be a ball handler if you need him in a pinch. Those do exist. I'm not sure there is like 6'7", 6'8", can play inside, can play outside, can shoot, can defend, can be an amorphous blob as readily available in the the the, the portal, even a lesser version of. Right? I think you can find a lesser version of R.J. Davis. I think it's hard to even find a lesser version of of Harrison Ingram. So, it, it, and he's like you build your your roster kind of around the skill set of your your core. I think Harrison Ingram for UNC, his decision is more urgent. 
R.J. Davis's might be more important because of everything I said, right? He might be the wooden award leader coming into next year. But but what Harrison Ingram brings changes the way you build your roster, changes what else you you shop for, for lack of a better term, in the portal. Harrison Ingram makes it easier to replace Armando Baycott. Right, Because if you bring in a center who's more stretch, who likes to maybe shoot from the outside, you know Harrison Ingram can go grab 18, 19 rebounds. We've seen it. If you don't have Harrison Ingram there, your center, your five-man, whoever, uh, whether it's Washington or somebody coming out of the portal, probably has to be more of a rebounding dude. Probably has to put more of a priority on that. If R.J. Davis leaves, you're probably putting another score-first shooting guard in the starting lineup. Because, I mean... Let's be real. Being a score first shooting guard is what everybody wants to be when you're a kid, right? Maybe a oh, score yeah. first point guard. Maybe a score first point guard. Because that way you don't even have to. Uh, Allen Iverson. You don't yeah. even need anyone to pass it to you. Uh, but there's there's always guys that can that can put shots up. Guys that can impact the game in a bunch of different ways without putting shots up are a little bit more rare. And that's why I think Harrison Ingram for NC uh, UNC's uh, like betterment. That decision's a big one, and it needs to happen quick. The deadline to declare for the NBA draft early entry is April 27th. 12 so days, 12 from, days now. from now. Right so, in the middle of the NFL so draft. just before the NFL draft. No, the NFL draft is the 25th. It is the 25th. So it's day three of the NFL draft so yeah, is when they Saturday, have to Next Saturday. Saturday the 27th. Two Saturdays from now. Yeah. The NFL draft. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm 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 such a sports fan. I don't know months and stuff. I know I can judge every, every like uh, how long away something is in relation to some. Big, I just got done with with okay, so that's two days after the Masters. Mm-hmm. Like now the Masters is in the past, so I need to find a new benchmark. It's the NFL draft. The draft. By the, the 25th way, to the 27th. For those that do enter early into the NBA draft, if they do not sign with an agent, you have until June 16th to withdraw from the draft. The NBA draft is June 26th, June 27th. That makes sense. Once we get through the NFL draft, I might need to know that again. That's But right now it's all based around the NFL draft. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Underdog Sportsbook. I know a lot of people are all in on the NHL action and maybe some NBA, Major League Baseball, all those things that are going on right now. But if you want to get further into the game, get more invested in it, this is where Underdog Sportsbook comes in. Here's what Underdog has given you as the sports fan, who's someone who's looked to place bets, to do props, parlays, uh, money line bets, whatever it might be. Underdog, with their interface, with their sportsbook app that they built, by the way, the state of North Carolina, first ones to get it. It's a simple, fresh experience, and it's simple and easy to use. It's so straightforward. You know exactly how to navigate it, and that's a big thing that I know a lot of people might have trouble with when it comes to sportsbook apps. And you don't have that problem with Underdog. It's so easy to navigate. You know exactly where to find what it is that you're looking for to get your prop bets and do your parlays, whatever it is that you want to do. And that's the reason why I use Underdog Sportsbook. I have, For example, I'm doing some hockey stuff. Bingo. I know exactly where to go to exactly find exactly who I want to put on to be maybe an anytime goal scorer or maybe to get us over a certain number of assists, the over-unders, all those kinds of things at Underdog Sportsbook. You can get in on the action as well. Download the Underdog Sportsbook app on iOS or Android. Sign up with the promo code Dennis and use your first bet mulligan, which returns up to $1,000 as bonus funds if your first bet loses. That's Underdog Sportsbook. Promo code Dennis. Must be 21 plus to gamble and present in North Carolina. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov or call 1-800-GAMBLER. Terms, conditions, and restrictions apply and can be found in the Underdog Sportsbook app. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I said I'm basing all of my calendars around the NFL draft starting April 25th. We have eight more shows until the NFL draft. We preview the next position leading into the draft. It's a defensive position. Coming up next. 
Hey, it's Adam Gold, and do you have a late-night craving for in-depth analysis on the Carolina Hurricanes and their latest game, their latest win, their pursuit of the Stanley Cup? Well, I can quench your thirst. I can feed that appetite on the Canes Corner Podcast, the morning after edition, which drops the morning after every Hurricanes game. Get it wherever you get your podcast. Brought to you by the Aluminum Company of North Carolina. This is Gordon Miller for Miller Lending and Carey. Date the rate, marry the house. A phrase often used by realtors to describe the difference between keeping your new forever home as opposed to your mortgage rate, which you'll only keep until something better comes along. Kind of like speed dating. A recent study by the Wall Street Journal further supports this notion by finding the average life of a loan to be less than four years. Their suggestion? Find a no-fee loan, which is exactly what Miller Lending has been telling you since 1996. With no closing costs of any kind, you can simply close on today's rates and refinance each time something better comes along. So while builders promote buy-downs with over $10,000 in closing costs, or lenders advertise crazy low rates with even more, Miller Lending continues to be the leader in the no-cost mortgage. So before you throw away thousands of needless fees, pick up the phone and call your local neighborhood lender, Miller Lending & Carey, 919-447-3377, or simply apply online at MillerLending.com. Miller Lending is an equal housing lender, and MLS number 250-2146. How a busy baker beat back foot pain. Meet Sanja. Brownies, cupcakes, cookies. I love to bake. There have been times when I've been on my feet for at least 12 hours. And that's how things went from sweet to sour. I had excruciating pain in both feet to a point where I had to limp out of the kitchen. So she called up a former foot pain sufferer. Her big sister. She told me, you need to go to the Good Feet store and get some arch supports. Smart lady. It was an awesome experience. Scott took great care of my feet. He's the arch support specialist who fitted her. He was very patient, very knowledgeable. Scott was the man. Now Sanja can have her cake and bake it too. Oh yeah, my feet are very happy now. You're going to have to make some cookies for Scott. I've already done that. Of course you did. The Good Feet Store is in Chapel Hill, near Whole Foods, in Fayetteville in the Freedom Town Center, and in Raleigh in the Midtown East Shopping Center. Book your appointment today at goodfeet.com. The Good Feet Store. A torn ACL, stress fracture, aching back, a hip that's had it, life on hold, and all you want is to get it back. Enter Wake Orthopedics. Our fellowship-trained orthopedists do it all. General, sports, pediatric, joint replacement, fractures, spine, prevention, advanced diagnostics, progressive treatments, minimally invasive procedures, surgeries, and more. Visit wakemed.org slash wakeortho and get back your life. What are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I could get a chance to dash through a warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I could win up to... $2 $2 million in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash scratch-offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem Gambling Helpline 877-718-5543. Direct auto insurance is for uncompromisers. Like Matt. When his old car insurance got so expensive, do you think he walked until his sneakers wore out? No because he found savings with Direct Auto so he could drive instead of compromise. With savings of up to 25% on state minimum coverage, you too can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com or a store near you. Savings vary, terms apply. National General Group, Winston-Salem. I'm Dr. Miller, a dentist and a volunteer for Dental Lifeline Network. DLN asked dentists to volunteer to see just one patient per year who might not have access to proper oral health care. Join me in making a difference. Go to willyouseeone.org to learn more. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. Shoot, he scores! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. 
I'm WRAL meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. Oh, it's hot out there this afternoon. A little muggy. 88 degrees for the afternoon high under partly cloudy skies. Overnight tonight, we drop down to 62. And near the Virginia line, we may have some scattered storms. There's a level one risk for severe weather there. 85 for tomorrow with a better chance of more widespread storms during the evening. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit Newcomb and Company. Dot com. Four o'clock check of your money. Dow Jones down 248 points to 37,735. Market update brought to you by Habitat for Humanity Restore. Now selling brand new solid wood custom cabinets. Learn more at trianglerestores.org. Let's move the chains. Time for football at four. Football at four. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. We started this last week when we were on the 10-show countdown. We're down to eight. Eight shows until the NFL draft. Each day until the draft, we are looking at a different position of the Carolina Panthers, looking at how they've changed since Dan Morgan and Dave Canales took over and, and what might be expected in the draft at that position. Our, our, I went full, full. Our, I turned in like a, either a pirate or a seal. Are our, our, our. we at ECU? Uh, <laughs> good one. Defensive tackles is our, our position for the day. And it's funny because we're starting with the trenches, right? We're starting. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did we did interior offensive linemen and tackles on the offensive side last week. We're starting interior defense as we start the defense. If there's one thing that I've learned in the first three three days of doing this, the Panthers are building from the inside <laughs> out. So they put a lot of money, and I'm not a even a lot of money. I'm not even just saying like the line. I'm saying the interior of the the lines, both offensive and defense. They are starting their team. They are building the foundation within an arm's length of the ball before the ball is snapped. Everybody is a guard, a defensive tackle. They are right in the middle. Three of the four highest paid defensive players on the team in both total contract money and average annual value are interior defensive linemen. Two of the four highest paid offensive players on the team are interior offensive linemen. That is not a mistake. Derek Brown, obviously the big money guy, but on defense they also have Ashawn Robinson and Shai Tuttle amongst the next three highest paid defensive players on the roster. And but until they signed Jadavion Clowney, it was three of the three highest paid players on the defensive side of the ball. They are prioritizing not just the lines, but the interior of the lines. So they could be done spending there this offseason, right? They could fill out whatever else they need in the roster with undrafted free agents and low, low budget free agents later on, which would mean they're not going to draft an interior defensive lineman. Or the other side is they might load up even more. I wouldn't be surprised if they drafted a defensive tackle, I would say any time from the fourth round on. I think every pick in the the first three rounds, and they don't have one in the first, so every second and third round pick they have or trade into, I think they have to pretty much aim for starters, right? Yes. If, you're, if you're picking day two, yes, you have to pick someone you're ready to slot in right now to a starting lineup or by by midway through the season. Mm-hmm. Like, it's got to be someone close. It's got to be a key contributor right away. I don't think there's that ability at defensive tackle right now because Ashawn Robinson and obviously Derek Brown are there. So Shy Tuttle coming Shy, back. Shy as well. Tuttle nose tackle. Like so those are kind of already taken, the starting lineups. But starting in the fourth round, you know, I don't know if you can bank on any fourth round plus guy walking into a starting lineup. I don't think they necessarily need it, but they've shown the middle of the trenches is their biggest priority. So I could see them in that draft room going, you know. You really you can never have too many interior defensive linemen. If there's one they like, they can talk themselves into it because it's their main priority. Right? It, it's it's the same as you know uh, Mike McDaniel with the Miami Dolphins, their coach. Starting about round four, do you know what he's probably doing? You know, guys, we could use another receiver. We might not need it, but there's this guy I like because Mike McDaniel likes having a herd of fast guys. 
right? There are certain teams that have certain positions where it's like, you know, we could we we could use another. We don't need it, but we could. The the Philadelphia Eagles, if there is an edge rusher from either Alabama or Georgia and they have not been taken by the fourth round, I'd almost guarantee they're going to do it whether they need it or not because that's what they do. The Panthers are starting to look like an organization that if there's an interior offensive or defensive lineman that they like, they're just going to make the pick whether they need it or not. If there's one out there on a reasonable ask in free agency that they like, Dan Morgan's going to go like, yeah, sure, why not? Can't have too many. It's it's 3 and D wing in the NBA. Mm-hmm. It's uh, lefty relievers in Major League Baseball. Yeah. You can't have too many, right? It's defensive it's, backs in the NFL. <laughs> there's there's a few position rim protectors in yeah. the NBA. It's like, yeah, you know what? We I didn't come into the draft needing one, but if he's there and he's available, can't have too many. Plus, we saw Ezra Evero last season, just something he does often. But he likes to rotate his defensive mm-hmm. line a lot. So. Adding Robinson, in my opinion, it allows LeBron Ray and some of those other guys that were starting last year to be the rotational pieces coming in. So it increases your depth because these guys are already familiar with the system too. And a guy like Robinson is going to free up guys like Josie Jewell and the other linebackers to just be free roaming and making tackles all over the place. The The goal in roster building is to get every position to where you have it on the interior defensive lineman. You have a stud who you think is an all-pro. You have at least two that you're really excited about that are starting caliber NFL players that can take advantage of your stud who you think is an all-pro. And you have bodies to rotate in that you like, that know your system, that are capable. And if you want to add some, sure, right? If there's one you really like, you can can make room. You want every position to be there because right now there aren't many. Especially with the the tempo in which offenses play now, you're constantly substituting and you're in sub packages. You got to have the bodies if you're going to last not only just the game but a full season. If you look at the the be best, effective. if you look at the best position groups across the NFL, that's pretty much what you have, right? You 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 look at uh, you know t- the teams with the best receiver cores. There's usually one guy they think it's an all pro, two guys that that are the other starters, right? Your number two and number three wide receiver. Uh, usually costs a little bit of money, and and you would trust to make big catches on third down. And then you have a couple other guys who, you know, after your stud runs four straight go routes and doesn't get the ball, needs to needs a break, you bring a guy in. That's what the Panthers have built on the interior of the defensive line. But because they did that first, because they looked at the roster and they had none of those positions, because they chose to first get the interior offensive and defensive lines to that status, that tells me that there's never a draft where they would feel uncomfortable coming out of it with a better, uh, with a good option uh, at those positions. It's it's part of their identity. They want to be dominant interior offense and defensive lines. So if you told me there was one that they liked in the fourth round, I would not be surprised if they drafted him and explained it that same way. Like, hey, we want to win the trenches. We saw a guy that can help us do that. It was at a, a reasonable cost of draft capital. We had already filled a bunch of other starting roles or competing for starting roles in the first three rounds. So we had a pick that that you know could be a little bit more of a luxury. We went straight to our bread and butter. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. The drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Hey, Dennis Cox here for my friends over at Loan Pronto. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free from credit cards, car loan, and personal loan. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. You can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value 
its way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards. Get some money for a home improvement project. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips. And approval, it's just minutes away. Call now, 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan, has the podium coming up next. But with college basketball season complete, we've shaken up the podium a little bit. It'll have a decidedly Carolina Hurricanes flavor. And that'll be next right here on The Drive. You're always close to the Canes with 99.9 The Fan. 47 seconds left in overtime. Jarvis now with speed. Dropper inches, he scores! to bring you every Canes game night and the latest Canes news from insider Adam Gold. Your official home for the Carolina Hurricanes. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. O'Reilly Auto Parts carries the best parts for your next repair. If your car isn't stopping like it used to, Brake Best Select pads and rotors can restore your braking system performance. Shop Brake Best Select products exclusively at O'Reilly. And visit your new Bun O'Reilly Auto Parts on Main Street next to Hardee's. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. Hey, friends, Paul Eihander from 99.9, the Fan for Fan Duel. It is playoff time. NHL, NBA, and baseball is in full swing. Fan Duel is your place to bet on every game. Right now, new customers get $200 in bonus bets guaranteed when you bet your first five bucks. Just visit fanduel.com slash Paul. Paul with a capital P and sign up. Then you can bet on everything from slap shots to slam dunks to home runs, all on an app that is safe, secure, and easy to use. So get started today. $200 in bonus bets, win or lose, when you place your first $5 bet. Visit FanDuel.com slash Paul, P-A-U-L, and get started. FanDuel, America's number one sports book. 21 plus and present in North Carolina. First online real money wager only. $10 deposit required. Bonus issued as non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire seven days after receipt. Restrictions apply. See full terms at fanduel.com slash sportsbook. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. QC is the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you are tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics now. Surgery, steroids, drugs, these are no longer your best options. Regenerative Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics, using your body's own power to repair and restore damaged tissue. QC Kinetics is under the leadership of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Sheenkup. Dr. Sheenkup is a pioneer in this field with 20 years of clinical work, tons of research, teaching, and publishing. He wants to get you relief with a needle, not a knife. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about some exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime. 919-400-5473. With locations in Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest. 919-400-5473. Ew, gotta get rid of this old Backstreet Boys t-shirt. Tell me why. Because it stinks, boys. Tell me why. I've washed it so many times, but the odor won't come out. Tell me why. No, you tell me why I can't get rid of this odor. Have you tried Downy Rinse and Refresh? It doesn't just cover up odors. It helps remove them. Wow, it worked, guys. Yeah. Downy Rinse and Refresh removes more odor in one wash than the leading value detergent in three washes. Find it wherever you buy laundry products. Hey, everyone. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. If you're paying too much for wireless service, you don't have to keep having that nightmare. Consumer Cellular has the same fast, reliable coverage as the leading carriers for less. And for a limited time, new customers receive their second month free when they sign up and use promo code MONTHFREE by May 31st. So why keep spending more than you have to? Seriously, wake up and call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com. Taxes, fees, and other third-party charges will apply. See website for additional details. Every business faces challenges, but complicated, expensive, and uncertain shipping shouldn't be one of them. With USPS Ground Advantage from the United States Postal Service, you can avoid all the noise. No more unexpected surcharges, hidden fees, or complex rate structures. It's just easy, cost-effective, and dependable shipping. 
Tune your business's frequency to success and turn shipping to your advantage. Learn how at usps.com slash advantage. USPS Ground Advantage. Simple, affordable, reliable. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It's time for the podium. Now, traditionally, the podium has been uh, the three ACC teams in the triangle, four ACC teams in the state of North Carolina. Um, and and we rank them based on their previous week, whether it's football, basketball, we mix it up. We're moving on to the Canes postseason run, so we thought it'd be fun to shake up the podium and put Canes players on there. It's still a weekly award, so it's on the, the – from. You know, next week it'll be from Monday to the next Sunday. Uh, so we're looking at the previous week of action. By the way, Wake Forest is off the podium. Wake Forest still off the podium. Wake Forest is still they'll off just, the podium. They'll just hang. They, they, they built real estate there. Yeah, so. they, they're pay, you got to pay taxes if you want to be off the podium. Uh, so they're off the podium. So what, what we're going to do here, because it would be foolish to list, you know, we're putting three players on the podium. It would be foolish to list all of them off the podium. Um we have a bronze, we have a silver, and we have a gold. It's similar to the stars, uh, but it's for the previous week, and and we're naming Kane's players that that earned these from the uh, from a week. So it'll go through the the entire postseason in this format every Monday. We'll start off with bronze. Bronze goes to Pyotr Kochekov. Yeah, two games in goal, two wins. Uh, a 95 plus save percentage game uh a few poke checks a few few of the things that make us love Kochekov the way we do yeah pretty unreal that we're giving a a bronze medal pretty much the week before the postseason starts to a guy who we don't expect to be on the ice for game one of the postseason no. 2-0, and like you said, a 9-2-3 save percentage between the two games. The starts between Boston and Chicago. Goals against of 1-5-1. The, I, let, let's, let's let people in. Uh, we were close to naming a few different people the bronze. There are a lot of guys to choose from. And I want, I want to actually quote Paul Eihander, who we brought in to help us debate through the bronze. He said, he said, Kochekov, and the reason he gave was he played within himself. Mm-hmm. Which is that the poke checking thing, right? It, it it is becoming kind of a signature move, but it's it's also that right there is so hard to do in his situation. Because I you know I, I keep coming back to this. Guess what Kochekov wants, and in just about any other situation would get to be the goalie in game one of the postseason. He's been goalie number one for the Canes for most of the season. Right, Freddie was gone with the the blood clotting issue. There was no guarantee he was going to be back, or if he was going to be the same player when he was back. Let alone this really really good version of himself that he's been since he's been back. Kochekov, like st- playing within himself, is a Herculean task, because how do you not try to do more? How do you not try to be overly excellent and press when? You feel like you're chasing Freddie for for goalie one. The fact that he is staying within himself, and that's what someone noticed, is wildly impressive of a of a between the ears feat for Pyotr Kochekov. Which goalie is one of those positions. You know, we we, we talked about the Masters earlier today, and kind of. Uh, you know, Scotty Scheffler saying he doesn't think about the past or the future. He just tries to stay in the present. Goalie is 100% that. It's as, you know, goalie, pitcher, like it's as individual of a sport as can live within a team sport. And he obviously has the the his head screwed on the right way to be to be playing really good, uh, really good hockey and goal. He's been – by the way, he started – yesterday was his 40th start of the season. 
pretty darn good. And he missed with the the concussion there for. Oh wait, am I getting my that, goalies confused? Yeah, well, that was no, he had that. Okay. Um, but it was he was. <laughs> There's around, so many of them that have played. Yeah. I, I I get him confused. He was around the All Star break, so it didn't really True. impact the amount of games True. he played as much as if they were at this point of the season. Yes, yeah, or the last month where they played a game every other day. It seems. Yeah, 15 games in like 28 days or whatever it was. So Pyotr Kochekov earns a bronze. I do you want you want to hear a, a truth? Sure. I hope this is. And this is not a knock on Kojekov. I hope this is the last time he's on the podium, <laughs> right? Because I, I hope Freddie's playing most of the games, and I hope he's playing well enough that that Kochekov just doesn't have the opportunity to be in this role again. By the way, twenty three wins this season for Kochekov. Good for him. Twenty three, thirteen, and four. His save percentage on the season nine point one one. Four shutouts. And the again, goals against a two three three. And again, talking about like his mental stay readiness, he began the year in the AHL. Yeah, he was the third goalie for this team. He was on on the Syracuse he, crunch for like forty five minutes before they you know injuries and everything brought him up. But but that like that's he came up ready to play in the NHL. Yeah, he started a little slow, but once it clicked, he's been really really good. Played that's, in forty two. Not easy. Played in forty two total games this year. That is not easy. That's why he gets the bronze for the past week. The silver. Svech. Yeah. Andre Svechnikov. It's been so good. Talk about something clicking. He was not the best for for a stretch there. Um, and, do, you know, uh, you have all the stats and everything that, yeah. that we'll, let, we'll let Dennis run through. There's one stat that is by far my favorite stat of this week, for, and there were – uh, three games. By far my favorite stat for Svech over the last three games. He's And again, Dennis will give you all the, the meat and potatoes. My favorite, no penalties. He is he is harnessing that anger. He is channeling that aggression. And, and he's using it towards point production and setting up his teammates and clean hits. I love Svech when he can get frustrated and channel it rather than getting frustrated and having a hook in the offensive zone. Like, like he is... Very, very good. Give us the stats. So, in the last three games, one goal, four assists, one of those assists being on the power play, four hits total, averaging just under 16 minutes a game of ice time. But like you said, zero penalty minutes. But also here's something as well, plus four. So, he's been responsible on the defensive side of the ice as well, plus four. He is – well, first of all, he should be. One of the the very select few best players on the Carolina Hurricanes. Yeah, from a talent perspective, going back to the, I mean, being drafted so highly, the money he's getting, he should be one of the straws that stir the drink for the Carolina Hurricanes. And when he gets twisted up in the frustration thing, and he's getting in, put in the box, and he's in his own little little brain pretzel, he's not that. Something clicked a handful of games ago, five, six games ago, whatever it is. It's and really been the last four games. Last four him. games ago. And, and and I mean, I don't care if it was 10 minutes before the postseason. Him clicking in the right direction before the postseason is massive. And the one goal he did score this past week was when he pulled the lacrosse goal against Boston. The Svechnikov. And, th- like, and even setting up teammates the way he has. Mm-hmm. Right? Uh, you know, you Two brought this yesterday. You brought it up with, with, like, oh, or I think it was you. I've had a lot probably of hockey. I have a lot of hockey conversations around the office. That's talking me. about unlocking some Martin Nook and Stall, right? It, like sometimes his playing ability and him doing things the right way opens up guys, other guys, to get out of slumps. That's what your best player is there for, right? Your or one of your best players is there for. It's not just there to get his production. It's there to raise the level of those he's on the ice with, and he's doing that better over the last three games which is how he ends up the silver medalist. It stalled the last three games, goal and assist, plus four rating. He had five shots on goal yesterday, did Jordan Stahl, including a game-tying goal. But he and Jordan Martinook are starting to get, starting to cook a little bit because you look at the last four games for Jordan Martinook, a goal, three assists, points in four straight, plus four rating. Like, that whole line is starting to cook. And guess what? That means all the offense doesn't fall on Ajo, Gensel, and Jarvis. Although... Although, let's get to gold. Uh, Speaking of. Seth Jarvis. Yeah. Dude, so good. He's he's leveling up. It, it's, it's He's evolving in front of our very eyes. Don't take that for granted. He, like, 
I mean, for, okay, let's give give the stats. I guess would be would be a, a good place to start before we get all wishy washy and get tears in our eyes <laughs> talking about our our young Jarvis growing up. Last three games for Seth Jarvis: four goals, two on the power play, one shorthanded, also an assist, five hits. Averaging 17 minutes and 43 seconds of ice time, but a minute and 49 of that ice time per game is coming shorthanded as well. So he's scoring on the power play, which he did twice yesterday. He had a shorthanded goal against Boston. And he had the game-winning goal as well yesterday against Chicago. There's there's a uh, a stat we used to have when I was playing college football called loafs, right? Yes. And you would watch film, and your coach would – it was it was for quarterbacks it was easy right cuz normally a coach would say we got a loaf on this play let's see if you can find it an offensive line you'd have to go find whichever player once the quarterback's coach says we have a loaf on this play it's like i have an idea of who it is the one the one of us that's on the field but it was it was always um you know not hustling to the end not you know giving up a weak side something not playing to the whistle it was always something like that and loafs were assigned in front of the whole team Every once in a while, we would have a reverse loaf, which would be like a defensive tackle turning and hoofing it and making a tackle 30 yards downfield despite the fact that they weigh 330 pounds, right? Just an absurd hustle play would be called a reverse loaf because we we ran for loafs. Like if, you know, five loafs would be five sprints after a Tuesday practice or whatever. Uh, a reverse loaf would take five down to four. So you're always very excited when you had a reverse loaf. Uh, Jarvis has like two reverse loafs a game where he just goes above and beyond from a hustle and, and effort standpoint what you would expect from someone in whatever positions he's in, right? It's like, ah, oh, you know, I don't know if he should get to that rebound. I, it's not a loaf if he doesn't get to that rebound. But what does he do? Hustles his tail off, gets there anyway, keeps it alive. Sometimes it leads to nothing, right? Sometimes he just, you know, gets a stick on a puck. There you go. Sometimes, though, keeps the play alive for someone else to score. Sometimes it gets his own goal. It doesn't matter if they're shorthanded, power, like whatever it is. That type of thing rubs off. And there is a point in your career, he's 22 years old, where you recognize, like, I can be a leader even though I'm, you know, in some cases 15 years younger than these guys, right? I can set the tone. I was just listening to uh, Robert Kraft, the the head coach of the Patriots, be interviewed, and he was talking about what- The owner? Yeah, sorry. (laughs) He might have head coach. Yeah, he might be. No, the the, the head coach line is from what I'm about to tell you. Uh, He was talking about uh, Mayo, their, their new head coach. Draw Mayo. And and he said, you know, I, I knew he was somebody I would consider as a future head coach when he was 23 and was voted a captain. And there were veterans, and he ended up being a captain for the next seven years. I don't – again, captains are different in each sport, right? It's, he, there's Jarvis isn't going to be that in hockey yet. Um, and there's more of him in the NFL, and, and you can – the voting's different. So I'm not saying it's the same. Like, he's not saying he's going to be a captain. But I am saying – 22, 23 years old, if you're out there hustling more than the other guys, you can set a tone. You can be a leader, even though you're not the oldest, you haven't been through it, you're not the most experienced. I think Jarvis is learning that. He's like, wait a second, I put in crazy effort, the whole team gets energized. Look at that. This is kind of fun. Then that first line with with Gensel and Ajo, they feed off of it and and feed it back to him, and then he gets their energy, and, and by the end of the day, they've accounted for a whole bunch of goals. He makes so many of those hustle plays that just don't even show up in stat sheets. Like, for example, there's been many times this season where the other team has like a three-on-two and they're bringing the puck up the ice and Jarvis comes sprinting back, exactly. ties up the open guy, and the pass is intended for him. He lifts up his stick, ties the guy up. No scoring chance, not even a shot on goal. You don't put. There's nowhere on the stat sheet you can put that. Reverse it's, loafs. It's, it's those kinds of plays, the, not, the plays that don't show up in a stat sheet that win you games, and he does that so, so well. That's why he's got the gold. That's why he has the gold. There's well, so many guys we could have gone with on this podium. Well, I was going to say Slavin, Gensel, Freddie, none of those guys up there, all debated, none of them up there. Uh, you could probably pencil Ajo into, like, the conversation for the podium every week. Basically. Um, but I, I also I look at Jarvis, Svech, and Kojekov, and I, I don't see anyone. I, I like our podium. 
I like I like the mentality of them. I like the way they impact the game. I like that podium. Uh, quickly, since we're talking uh, Canes and we, we had Svetch on there, let's hear from Svetch on the mentality of the team. You know, it's uh, obviously, you know, we one of the best teams in this league and uh, obviously you got to have a great mentality and uh, great team, you know, to do what we did kind of this season and uh, we're not done yet. We got one more game to go here and uh, our mentality is the same, you know, we got to win every game and uh, just stick with that. One more game before the postseason tomorrow. We're going to talk more Canes, but first, text keyword KING, K-I-N-G, to 919-860-5326 to enter for a chance to win a $25 Smoothie King gift card. That's KING, K-I-N-G, to 919-860-5326 to enter for a chance to win a $25 Smoothie King gift card. I said we're going to talk more Canes. Let's talk more Canes. With one game left to play, that may not matter at all as far as impact on standings or anything else. There is a a bottleneck happening at center. Three guys for two spots in the Canes lineup. And it might not be solved when the postseason starts. It might not be solved when the postseason starts. The three names, and, and Dennis pointed this out to me today, uh, Code Kenyemi, Drury, Kuznetsov. Not, I didn't read them in any order for any particular reason, so don't think that's how I think they're going to shake out. Um, but they're, they're, I mean, obviously there's Ajo and Stahl, so <laughs> let's not get crazy. There's two more start, there are two more centers, right? There's the, the kind of second line and fourth line. Kuzi was centering the fourth line kind of over the weekend at times, extended yeah. periods of time. He had been centering that second line, uh, so he'd been back with Nason and Faust. Uh, there's Drury playing up with the second line. He had been penciled into the fourth line. It might actually, if, if you really look at it, big picture stuff with Drury kind of getting, I don't want to call it the promotion, but you would think the guy skating with the second line is is the most safe. It might come down to one of your two big acquisitions at the trade deadline, Evgeny Kuznetsov, and a $4.8 million player in, in Kokaniemi for the fourth line center. That's an interesting battle, right? Because Kokaniemi has left a lot to be desired this year on the ice, but Kuznetsov has cooled down considerably. And even though I believe, right, if he has more time and, and he gets to, to completely mesh with the roster, it, he'll be able to figure it out. I mean, there's no more time to figure it out. The postseason starts in like five days, right? There's there's no more time to, to well, keep figuring it out and, and, and unless you think he's going to click real quickly. This is one of the unforeseen consequences or maybe foreseen consequences that they weighed the risk of, but but one of the, the, the consequences of bringing in Kuznetsov at the deadline. You now have three guys for two spots. And I'll tell you what you really don't want. You don't want players in the postseason out there playing tight because they think one mistake cost them, costs them their roster spot. Right? These, these are some of the most competitive people on the planet. They're NHL hockey players. They want to be on the ice in the big games. They don't want to be in the, the booth up with us. They, they don't want that. They want to be helping to influence their team wins on the ice. They don't. Uh, you don't want them out there thinking like, if I, if I try to make this pass and it gets intercepted, it's over. They're going to they're gonna give my job to, to Kokaniemi. You want them to have a little bit of coach believes in me, so I'm going to try to make the right play. And if it doesn't work out, coach will understand. It's why it's the you know the the gross underbelly is. Uh, I talk about this with quarterbacks all the time. I'm I'm a former quarterback. I never want a quarterback to think an interception gets them benched. There are times where an interception will get them benched, and the coach should know if this guy throws another interception, he's getting benched. But I would I would lie and tell the quarterback that's not the case right up until I'm saying you're getting benched. That's why I can never be a coach. I couldn't I couldn't make that lie. But I'd say, no, you're good. Long leash. It's your job. 
no, just let it fly because that's what it takes to be a successful athlete. You have to be in that flow state. You have to be in reaction, instinctual mode. Then they throw a pick, and I go, actually, never mind. I lied. We're going to the backup. Yeah. Like, I kind of want to make sure whichever two guys are in there at center for the first game of the postseason out of those three believe it's their job for the postseason, even if Rod knows – well, you know, if, we'll start with Kuzi, but if he doesn't figure it out, we, we can always go back to Kokaniemi. I'm looking at Kuzi going, you're ice, buddy. You're line. Lead the way. Yeah. Which is a, a, a tough situation to manage. I think it's a really just coming down for Rob Brindamore, figuring out who fits well with whom. I think that's really it. It's like, what's the best fit that gives the team the best chance to win? Because we've seen Kokaniemi play pretty much this entire season. Drury outside the stretch where he was hurt, playing this entire season. Kuznetsov, when he came in, had a little bit of a hot start, but he's cooled off since then. And I think, again, it's figuring out, all right, who's going to give us the best chance of win? To me, Jack Drury is in. Yep, I agree. Because he can play on the power play and he can kill penalties as well, so his versatility allows you to have that option. It's the it's really it might be the other spot. It might come down to Kuznetsov and Koke and Yemi, in all honesty. You, you know what question I'm asking next, right? What's that? You're Rod Brindamore. Which one are you – Starting to – first of all, is is Drury centering the second line? As I mean, based off what we saw the last two games, yes. Okay, so so for that fourth line, who is it? Your choice. I think right now you start with Kuznetsov. I agree. Because what he can do offensively in terms of his ability to create offense, his passing ability, it's a different dynamic that a lot of the Carolina Hurricane centers don't necessarily have. And he can play on one of your power play units as well. And he's also had success in the postseason before. And I think that's a big thing as well. He's been there and he's done it. But if it's not working and it becomes if it becomes a liability, you can always go back to Koki and Yemi because you know that he played that fourth line center spot. He did it for a chunk of this season. How long's the leash? Is it like literally one game? I don't know if it's one game. It might be two, might be three. Also depends. I mean, if it's glaringly bad, you're like, Ugh, okay. <laughs> but I think it honestly I mean, I th- might I think, be. I think we should. Yeah, we we should clarify. If if he's out there, like you know, he doesn't know which end is which which end of the ice they're they're scoring on. Like if it's a true uh, bleep show, then then yeah, you make some some faster decisions, and everybody understands that. Uh, you know, a bunch of turnovers on your own end that lead to goals. No one's going to be like, well, you got to give him a chance to figure it out. But you know, if you're winning. Right, you're gonna you're gonna have home ice in the first round. If if you're winning and you are feeling things out and there's flashes, I think you let it ride. I do not think it's smart to play the every other game deal. Like, oh, this guy, no, he's in. No, he didn't play well. Now you're in. No, he didn't play well. Now you're in. I I think you want to have a little bit of uh, stability there at the uh, at the top of your deal. I think. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I want to tell you about my friends over at Bailey's Fine Jewelry. Uh, they invite you to immerse yourself in the luxury of its brand new Omega showroom. I've done it. I've immersed myself. It's good. It's a good time. Enjoy one-of-a-kind shopping experience in the country's second largest Omega shop within a shop. Upgrade your timepiece today and shop Omega's iconic Speedmaster and Seamaster models with the brand new Omega shop in shop in Bailey's Fine Jewelry's Raleigh Village District location and learn more at baileybox.com. I've said this one in the past few, but it's it's it might be my new Grail watch, my new like uh, vision board watch. It's the Speedmaster, which is the moon watch. It comes with the history. It comes with all the uh, mechanics and movement that work on the moon and, and is the official NASA uh, brand and, and model of watch. But now they have it with a white dial, which just makes it, I think, look a little bit more uh, fancy, clean, a little bit more of a, of a, a showstopper. When you walk in, people go, what is that? I've seen it in their showroom. It's pretty darn cool. You should go check it out. Again, it's all at Bailey's Fine Jewelry at their Village District location in Raleigh inside their Omega uh, Boutique. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. The transfer portal is alive and rocking in college basketball. The season just ended. The portal just getting started. What should State, Duke, and UNC be shopping for? I'll tell you. Coming up next right here on The Drive. There are truck months, and then there are truck months. 
This Ram Truck Month at John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington is one you won't want to miss out on. Right now, you can get 20% off a new 2024 Ram 1500 Bighorn. Get off your keister and get to Heaster for your shiny new 2024 Ram 1500 Bighorn at 20% off. We'll serve it up with personalized customer service from our team dedicated to providing a seamless buying experience. Hurry to John Heaster Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Lillington. Getting ready to take on spring? Make your first move with the reliable performance and power of steel battery tools. From hedge trimmers and mowers to string trimmers and more, save on select steel battery tools. Right now, save $50 on the RMA 460V Lawn Mower Battery Set. Real steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. With AK-30 battery and L101 charger. Offer valid for a limited time only while supplies last. See participating dealer for details. At Bet365, we don't do ordinary. We believe that every sport should be epic. Every goal, every game, every point, every play. From the moments that are legendary to the ones that fly under the radar. Whether it's a game-winning goal on the final seconds of overtime or a shot on goal in the first period. Whatever the sport, whatever the moment, it's never ordinary. At Bet365, 21 plus only must be physically located in North Carolina. If you or someone you know has a gambling problem and wants help, call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagame.nc. Pulling up to Mickey D's just for drinks? Oh yeah, that's me. Nothing extra, just perfection and a straw. Coming in hot for the coldest cups on the block. Because there are drinks. Then there are drinks from McDonald's. Now get an ice cold lemonade, frozen Coca-Cola, or iced coffee. Any size for just $1.79. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Price and participation may vary, cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. I'm Tiffany, founder of Harlem Pilates. When I couldn't find Pilates in my neighborhood, I started a studio from my studio apartment. Chase Inc. helped me grow from one Pilates studio to three. Because when you start small, you're going to need some big help. With the Chase Inc. Business Cash Card, you can earn up to 5% cash back on business essentials, so your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more of what's yours. Real business owner compensated for their participation. Cards issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm training for the new Ultimate Dash Scratch-Offs. I can get a chance to dash through... A warehouse full of prizes. That explains the shopping cart. Plus, I could win up to two million dollars in cash. And that explains the tuxedo. I'm chafing. Feel the rush with new Ultimate Dash scratch-offs from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds of winning are 1 in 3.78. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. The IRS finally caught up with Louie. I hadn't paid my taxes in eight years. I owed the IRS a lot of money. Louie was in deep trouble. We're going to take your house, put a lien on your bank account, uh, garnish your pay. They don't care. They're going to take your paycheck. Louie found out about Optima Tax Relief, the leading tax resolution firm. A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau, they've resolved over $1 billion for their clients. Optum Tax, they helped me. They calmed me down. They made me feel comfortable, and I trust them. Louie has a lot to be thankful for. I don't owe the IRS anymore, and I'm able to live a comfortable life, <laughs> a lot better life. It was because of Optum Tax. For tax help you can trust, call Optima now for a free consultation. Take it from Louie. If you owe the IRS, don't go it alone. Give Optima Tax a call. They can help you. Call 800-970-3199. That's 800-970-3199. 800-970-3199. Optima Tax Relief. Testimonial from an actual client. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Out of the Drive brought to you by The Good Feet Store. Ready to step into a healthy and active lifestyle? Come to The Good Feet Store and experience the difference. Discover how a simple step can lead to a life of pain-free possibilities. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. I'm going to explain to you why the transfer portal should be an all-you-can-eat buffet for triangle basketball teams. And then tell you where they should go, which station they should okay. go to at the all-you-can-eat buffet. There's a lot of options out there at all-you-can-eat. There are. Here's why it should be an all-you-can-eat buffet. The fifth best transfer, I was looking at the the ESPN rankings of transfers, right? All of the the transfers that have entered into the portal. The fifth best transfer in the country 
according to ESPN, has committed to West Virginia. Now, West Virginia? So West Vir- all the coaching ups and downs that they've been through recently, everything that that program's been through, the lack of success they've been through, they got the number five transfer in the country. If they're shopping top shelf, the Triangle team should walk in on a spending spree to get exactly what they want. Oh, yeah. Right? If if they're able to get the fifth best, then then if if Duke, Carolina, State, again, in no particular order, walk into the portal and don't walk out with exactly what they want, I'm going, what are we doing here? So I went through and, and did, like, my uh, my dream shopping, Right? Like when you're a kid and you're making your your Christmas list and you're just going through like the Toys R Us catalog. Do they still have those? Just circle what you want. And, yeah. then, and then you end up at the end realizing that you circled like 97% of the, the catalog. All right, maybe I was a little much. Hold on. Let's, hold on. Let's pare it down a little bit. <laughs> Give me here. a different color marker. We'll start over. Uh, <laughs> like th- that's kind of what I did. And I think I've come with good fits here. Okay. And you can you can add or or disagree, Dennis, uh, as we go along. Okay, uh, we'll start with state. All right. The thing, like I, I have like the category they could sh- they should be shopping for, uh, kind of the the categorical ideal, and then who I think fix fixes it and fits in. NC State should be going straight to the scoring section of the store. Scoring. They need bucket getters. Because look at who who graduated. Mm-hmm. DJ Horn, DJ Burns. When they needed a bucket this past year, they went to DJ Burns, and if it didn't work out, they went to DJ Horn. That was their whole thing. So they have O'Connell and Diara, and and some they have some really good kind of other roles already filled. They need that bucket getter. So they go to the you know the bucket getter store in the transfer portal, and the the very prim and proper personal shopper comes up and goes, well, 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 what can I help you for? They say, I want the best scores you got. Ooh, let me show you to the back room, right? Let, let, me, let me show you to the exhibit at the front of the store. Uh, this is where I think they go. John L. Davis and Vladisov Golden. Who? They both come from Florida Atlantic. Okay. Davis is the second best transfer according to ESPN. All right. Vladisov Golden is the 28th best according to to uh, ESPN. Davis, 6'4", shooting guard from Florida Atlantic, averaged over 18 points per game and shot over 41% from three. And you may remember when Florida Atlantic went on that run in the, the NCAA tournament a couple seasons ago, mm-hmm. he was the main character. He was the guy that, against all the big bad bullies in the tournament, was the one that was like, oh, he's – he very much could be playing on these big bad bullies. He fits in from an athleticism profile and from a production uh, profile. Vladisov Golden, I threw in there because they're from the same team. Their coach left for Michigan, Dusty May. So so they're both looking for new stops, new places to go. He's a 7-1 center that averaged roughly 19 points per game over his last 11. So he's kind of put some things together, and he can rebound. And I figured, you know, if you're going to get John L. Davis, you might as well. You know, if you're going to be flying down there to visit him uh, at Florida Atlantic, you might as well stop across the street at at, uh, Golden and see if you can't make it a twofer. And if West Virginia is getting the number five, the 28th should be be child's play, right? You think they need a a big man, especially with Brandon Huntley-Hatfield, a 6'10 forward coming in with Diara and Middlebrooks coming back? You think they need to go that route? I don't think they need to. Yeah. But I think over the second half of this past year, he's a better scorer than any of them have been. True. Huntley Hatfield is a former five-star, but he was averaging in the 12, 12 and a half points per game at Louisville. Let's not act like he had a ton of uh, competition for shots yeah. at Louisville. 12.9 points per game, 8.4 rebounds. I, I think there's a lot of scoring that's going to be missed and a lot of uh, offensive gravity, meaning when either of the DJs grab the ball – it became easier for everyone else on the on the the court to get open, and like the Dr. Like let's be real, Diara love him, mm-hmm. and and him expanding to the three point line, massive for them. He was very much taking advantage of the the 
negative space, right? Like the space not occupied by DJ Burns. Uh, and he really exploded when they started playing those two guys together. Could Huntley Hatfield be that same gravitational force? I'm not sure. And I'm not sure Golden will either, but I think having more shots at it is better than having one. Um, Middlebrooks, Diara, I don't know if their roles change, right? They're kind of, you know, Middlebrooks is going to be hustle, bull in a china shop. Uh, DR is going to be versatile, solid defense, great rebounding. The 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 main centerpiece of the the back the 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 front court, I should say. Uh, I think that could be a role that's divided. Um, state scoring. What should Duke be looking for? This is the most predictable thing in the world. If you've been listening, bigs with toughness. Bigs with toughness. I want the I want the the six ten plus guy that is the most likely to win a fist fight coming for Duke. Clifford Omorui might be pronouncing that wrong. To be honest with you, don't know a lot about him. He's the seventh best recruit according to ESPN. He is six foot ten. He is a center from Rutgers, and I have him on here because this was the first line in his description of his prospect page on ESPN. Among the truly elite post defenders in college basketball. I went, stop selling. You've got the yes. Yep. How, rim protector. how much is it going to cost? What do I care? I'm Duke. That's That, that was signed, sealed, delivered. Should we move on? Like, I've been talking about them needing big. And some of the young guys, by the way, do bring some of it. Malawash. Uh, they, like, they have some dudes coming in in the recruiting class. I want veteran dudes. Just like that role player, be a rim protector. Rim protect, rebound, and don't get mad when Cooper Flag takes all your shots. That's fair. Let's go to UNC. UNC, when they walk in and the personal shopper says, what are you looking for? Say, well, for uh, about the last half decade, uh, I had an Armando Baycott, got a little old, finally had to move on. Uh, I'm looking for a replacement. Loved the Armando Baycott, though, right? It's like – it's like when you you're buying a new car or something, and you're like, you know, for the last ten years I had a, a Toyota b- 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 Forerunner, loved it, just need a new version, yeah. right? Had a great time, did everything I needed it to do, aside from one very particular thing. Uh, but I think we can get it done with a similar similar model. Uh, this one is the number one transfer in the market, Omar Balo Bio uh, from Arizona, seven foot center. Get this. Averaged a double double. There you go. What was Armando Baycott's thing? A walking double double. Mm, yep. Give him 13 and 10, 16 and 11, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's the player that I think they should go for. Is it Rich? He's the number one ranked transfer on the entire market. Sure. Number five went to West Virginia. UNC is not four spots better of a basketball program than West Virginia. And there's big minutes, meaning minutes for bigs vacated a whole bunch of them figure it out unc make the pitch is it going to be expensive you're north carolina does does mark cuban ask what things are at the store how much is that going to cost i don't know i saw he just paid like according to him Mm -hmm. 288 million in taxes this year oh by the way folks you have six minutes Get your taxes oh, yeah. filed. There's, there's your, your, your reminder. At least if you're bumming about how much taxes you had to pay, at least 288 million. Goodness, that's uh, a, oh. That's because he, I think he sold the Mavericks this year, right? Oh, he sold a chunk of them. So, like, so but he's still a majority owner, but he did sell a chunk of the team. Yeah. So there's, there's that. Um, but still, when you're paying 288 million in taxes, you're probably not asking like, do you think I could get this in another color? How much do they cost when yeah. you're looking at like jackets? Uh, that's what North Carolina should be in the transfer market. Is he the number one ranked? Yeah, could I? Yeah, yeah. Yes, go get it. If that's what you need, if that's your Baycott replacement, go get it. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. want to tell you about my friends over at Capital Financial Advisory Group. Coach Pete has been revolutionizing the retirement planning game for decades. And with his use of his GPI index, Coach Pete can help you maximize consistent growth, protect your money from year to year, and build an income switch for you to flip on when you need to and want to. With the help of Coach Pete's financial fill-up, you will receive guaranteed income for life. 
And even in the face of financial challenges like long-term care or losing a spouse, you will still receive that check. It all starts with Coach Pete and his fantastic fiduciary financial planning team at Capital Financial Ad, uh, Advisory, analyzing your current financial plan to help you build in the three core components of a proper plan. This way, you can find the confidence to retire with the clarity and peace of mind you deserve. Call or text today and get your own very get your very own GPI index score and see how this valuable tool can work for you. Call right now and Coach will do all of this at no cost. If you tell him I sent you. So call 800-691-3215. Tell him you heard about it from Tim on 99.9 The Fan. Or if you're a texter, just go ahead and text my name, T-I-M, Tim, to 600-700. Again, that's 800-691-3215 to call or text my name, Tim, to 600-700. The starting five is coming up next, including today is a very cool, very memorable five-year anniversary. We'll tell you what we're celebrating coming up. Evan, Canty, and Michelle are unsportsmanlike. Robert in Raleigh, listening on 99.9 The Fan. What's up, Robert? I got to go leftovers, macaroni and cheese. Michelle, I know you don't eat leftovers. My wife grew up eating leftovers. She'll bake a peach pie from scratch, have one piece, and then it's old. And I've heard you talking about where the best pizza is from. If you've not had Pepe's, Sally's, or Modern Pizza, they're all right there in New Haven, Connecticut. Connecticut. Mornings from 6 to 9 on 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. Deals are happening at John Heaster Chevrolet on brand new 2024 vehicles, like $2,500 off a of Colorado, $4,000 off the Silverado 2500 Custom, or $6,000 off a of Silverado 2500 High Country. With a 2010 or newer Chevrolet trade-in, get up to $5,500 off an Equinox LT, up to $7,000 off a Blazer RS, or up to $9,000 off the Silverado RST. Get off your keister and get to John Heaster Chevrolet in Fuquay Verena. Together, let's drive. It's bow time. Something new just dropped at Bojangles. Take the bold taste of a crispy golden chicken supreme that's been seasoned to perfection, then add dill pickles, Carolina gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go. What do you get? You get a Bose Bird Dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks. So when you're on the go, headed to practice, or need a snack, grab a Bose Bird Dog. Hurry in before they're gone. Available for a limited time. It's bow time. There's no time like bow time, but sometimes it's go time. No time to stop. Introducing Bojangles' new Bird Dog, a seasoned to perfection Bojangles Chicken Supreme, dill pickles, Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce, all on a toasted bun. Great on the go. Try two bird dogs for just $5 or a two bird dog combo for just $8. Hurry, Bo's bird dogs are available for a limited time only. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bo time. Don't sweat a swing and a miss thanks to insurance tokens from BetMGM. Hey, it's Victoria Vodnecker here for BetMGM, and you can add an MLB wager to your bet slip and activate your bet insurance token. If your bet with the token applied doesn't hit, you'll get your stake back in bonus bets up to the specified maximum amount. That's another chance to step up to the plate. Whether you want to bet on a no-run first inning, try a signature bet, or take a home run prop, BetMGM has a loaded lineup for all nine innings all season long. Go to your BetMGM account today to claim your bet insurance token and get your stake back in bonus bets if your MLB wager using the token doesn't win. Only at BetMGM, the king of sportsbooks and official sports betting partner of MLB. BetMGM and GameSense remind you to play responsibly. See BetMGM.com for terms. 21 years of age or older only. North Carolina only. Existing customer offer subject to eligibility requirements. Rewards are non-withdrawable bonus bets that expire in seven days. Gambling problem? Call 877-718-5543 or visit more than a game.nc.ca At WakeMed MyCare 365, we deliver convenience others only talk about every day of the year. Primary care and urgent care under one roof. Multiple locations, virtual visits, walk-in or schedule an appointment online. From annual physicals and routine care to sinus infection, strep, or the flu, we couldn't be more convenient. 
Learn more about our kind of care and our kind of convenience at wakemed.org. April is here. Time to call Window Nation. Right now, buy two windows and get two free. Plus, save even more with no interest or payments for 24 months. Don't miss out. Call 866-90-NATION or visit windownation.com to schedule your free in-home estimate. This hour on the Triangle Sports Leader is brought to you by the Ritchie Law Firm Injury Lawyers. Shoot, he scores! Go to gotbrian.com. That's gotbrian.com. WCMC HD1 Holly Springs. Take us with you on radio, web, app, Alexa, and YouTube. 99.9 The Fan, the Triangle Sports Leader. I'm WRAL meteorologist Kat Campbell. After reaching the upper 80s this afternoon, we can't rule out a stray storm toward the Virginia line tonight. Really not expecting that in the triangle. It'll be partly cloudy tonight with a low of 62, warming back up to 86 tomorrow with a chance for some scattered storms during the evening. Weather update brought to you by Newcomb and Company, where your comfort is their business. Visit NewcombandCompany.com. Five o'clock check of your money, Dow Jones. Down 248 points today to 37,735. It's 5 o'clock. Time to serve up the biggest sports stories of the day. Here comes your starting five. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Here comes your starting five. Starting with number five. Five years ago today. Fun time. What happened five years ago today, Dennis? Five years ago today. Excuse me. Wow, a little dry out there. Uh, Five years ago today. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm thinking about it because five years ago today was game three of the first round of the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs between Washington Capitals and Carolina Hurricanes. That was the first home playoff game at PNC Arena since 2009 in the Eastern Conference Finals. That's 10 years between 10 home, years. So that happened five playing. years ago today. You know, it was game three. Canes were down 0-2 going into that game three. They won game three, won game four, lost game five, won game six at home, and then they won game seven on the road uh, in Washington in double overtime. That was the Justin Williams to Brock McGinn game winner. By the way, interesting stat of that whole series, Canes led for zero seconds on the road in four road games and still won that series. Look at that. Yeah. But it just that environment that night, people were like, you know what? We don't care that we're down 0-2 in this series. Doesn't matter. We're tailgating. We're having a good time. And it was so loud. It's, it's so loud. To understand completely where you are, you have to look at where mm-hmm. you've been. Five years ago, the, the the Canes were dragging themselves out of a pretty dark place. Yeah. And and five years later, it's it, there is some taking for granted nature of, of how good they've been, and maybe rightfully so, right? Like you level up, you raise the bar. Now the bar is higher. I get it, but sometimes it is fun to look back and go, remember, remember where, remember when. It's interesting what actually came from that because I remember talking with a couple people from the NHL when they chose Carolina to host the Stadium Series game. Mm-hmm. And they said the atmosphere that they saw for the playoff run in 2019 when the Canes got to the Easter Conference Finals, all the tailgating, the crowd atmosphere, and how everyone was into it, they're like, oh, we could do this just right over here, like across the street at Carter Finley. They have the parking. Well, yeah, but it's not like that, (laughs) but it was just like this environment, they hadn't seen really anything like that when going on to different NHL cities. So it it was that time that eventually did lead to a stadium series game. And reminder, everyone, you can still do that just because you're getting game one and you're a big favorite and all oh, the betting this and betting. You can still put together a heck of a show in the postseason as a fan base when you have a few more national eyeballs on you and, as you just brought up, maybe some decision makers that are going to have some impact on some cool things and cool mm-hmm. opportunities in the future. Um, but five years ago today. Bring that noise. Five years ago versus the Capitals. Yeah, against Washington, whom the Canes could potentially play in the first round of the playoffs. Versus Dmitry Orlov. Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Dmitry Orlov, Evgeny Kuznetsov were both on that team for Washington. Maybe that's why they, they uh, Orlov signed here. Yeah, right. 
That was really fun. If I were them, let me see what that'd be like. Uh, that's number five. Let's get to number four. We are the four horsemen. Woo! Uh, North Carolina State men's and women's basketball hosting a celebration tonight at 8 at the Bell Tower. Uh, if you can't make it, it will be shown on WRAL News Plus. That's 35 or 34, excuse me, on your television. Uh, they're going to have people there doing the whole reporting thing. This tonight, by the way, and I'm going to say this uh, nicely. This is why it was so important. This is why we talked about it during the run and in the immediate aftermath of the run for both the men's and women's basketball teams at NC State. You have to strike while the buzz is hot. You have to strike when you're the biggest story in, in the country. You have to ask for money, hit your boosters up and say, please, can we have some more? You have to sell merch, right? Print as many t-shirts with ice cream cones on it as you possibly can. You have to hit the transfer portal, right? Humley Hatfield coming out of the transfer portal for the men. You have to do some of that. You have to when it's still your time because tonight will be a fun evening, right? The coaches will be there, Westmore, Kevin Keats. The players that are in town, I'm sure, will we'll pop out there, the ones that haven't already departed. Uh, like, like it'll be a fun time. Fans will show up. But do you know what? I was trying to think of the perfect analogy for what it feels like. Uh, Dennis, did you have um, senior skip day? We did, but we had a lacrosse game that day, so we could not skip. Oh, you didn't skip. So we're That's the it. only seniors that were there that day. Because <laughs> if we skipped, we could not play. So the first high school I went to had a school-sanctioned senior skip day. Okay. Where the school, like, threw an event. They rented, like, this little park area, and you could go. And it was fun. But guess what it wasn't? It wasn't the same as an actual skip day. Like, teachers were there working the grill. It was basically like a field day. And and it was fun, sure. I didn't get there, by the way. I didn't, didn't graduate there, but my brother did. Uh, he's like, it, 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 yeah, it's fun, right? It's cool. But the whole part of the skip day is like the teachers don't know you're doing Like you go skip, you're right? You go to the beach somewhere. You go, that's what you did. Tonight feels a bit like a school sanctioned skip day. The true bell tower parties were the ones where everybody watched them win the elite eight, dropped the remote, took off for the bell tower mm -hmm. and had a heck of a time. Those were the ones where the buzz was palpable, right? It wasn't chaperoned necessarily. There wasn't some big plan. There wasn't like everybody get there about 7.30. The festivities will start at 8. It was just organic and it was fun. And and our very own Graham Hill was like running there with everybody else. <laughs> Graham was awesome. In, in the mix with the with like... Now we're going to have, like, news crews there putting together a broadcast. What we had was a 25-year-old producer with with a, a phone out there live streaming. Like, that's the, the guerrilla warfare of it. Like, that's the more fun of it. Boots on the ground. Boots on the ground. It'll be fun, but I just think it won't. It's not the same right now as it was a week ago. Yeah, it's crazy to think the national championship game was one week ago. When when you have those those flash in a pan, right, lightning in a bottle runs, it's it's operate quick. You can't say like, oh well, let's talk next Monday about a strategy meeting to see how we can uh, benefit from this run we're on. It's like no, I'm going right now, right? Like. Well, I'm talking with with the the merch people right now. We're we're calling up a transfer right now. We're flying in a booster right now. Like it all has to be right at the moment. And I hope State did that and took as much advantage of it as they could, because you can already feel a little bit of the buzz going down. It'll still be fun, but it's like coordinated fun rather than natural, authentic fun. That's number four. Let's get to number three. One, two, three. Caleb Foster. One of the the top freshmen for Duke this past year, uh, for Duke basketball, announced he is returning to Duke next year for his sophomore season. I, as I said earlier, you can break this down two ways, right? One is it is better to have more good players on your basketball team 
than not good players. And Caleb Foster is a good player. So, right, the the base layer, the foundational part of this conversation is good player coming back, good for Duke. But you, you start to uh, think about it more and you start to question things like both Tyrese Proctor and Caleb Foster have announced they're coming back. Could that indicate that Jeremy Roach is not coming back and those two are looking forward to being the two primary ball handlers on what will likely be the preseason number one team in the country? Because if Jeremy Roach comes back, he and probably Proctor are the primary ball handlers. Caleb Foster has to look to make his role something else. And by the way, they have four small forwards coming in in the number one ranked recruiting class. And who knows what else John Shire wants to do in the transfer portal, if anything. Right? It's the same thing as when Seth Trimble left UNC. Many people first jumped to, that must mean R.J. Davis is coming back because Seth Trimble would slide into that role perhaps if R.J. Davis was not coming back, and that sounds like a really fun role. So now the opposite is true, right? If two guys are coming back, they're not going in the transfer portal, does that mean they know something about someone else's plans as far as leaving and opening up that role for them? I will say this, though, is that when McCain – Foster, Proctor, and Roach were all healthy. They all got plenty of burn. They all got plenty of playing time. Foster was coming off the bench. He was, and there were some moments where Proctor started coming off the bench, especially when Proctor was coming back off the injury and such. I mean, the guy, those guys got plenty, and McCain's going to the NBA, Mm -hmm. so you're taking one out of the mix. If anything, there's actually more minutes to go around for those three guys. If if Foster is, if he thinks that McCain role is mine. Oh, that's a that's a luxurious place to rest. Like that that is a very attractive role for him. Uh they, but they're, you know, you know what's again, I said this before. How does John Shire get all the five stars to to go to Duke and stay at Duke? Like I know they're all not staying, but like the Foster, Proctor, if Roach comes back, it, like those three are gonna get some form of minutes. Then you six, six, essentially five star or very, very high four star. Recruits are coming to to Duke this offseason. Four of them in the same recruiting class played the same position. TJ Power, I haven't heard him going in the transfer portal. He was a five-star top 20 recruit in the country that barely played last year. And he has four superstar recruits coming and playing the same position as him next year. Con Knipple and TJ Power are both small forward and or stretch fours that can shoot the lights out. And oh, by the way, there's there's some even better recruits, at least ranked at that, that position coming in. So Caleb Foster is returning. How quickly does it become? And I'll ask you, you this, Dennis, because the question might just be, it's different for Duke and, and Caroline and the, the, the true blue bloods that can make it work. Mm-hmm. How quickly does it become? There's only one basketball to go around. And there's now six stud recruits, four minimum players coming back that are expecting to get their shots. Yeah. And there's only so many minutes in a basketball game. Like, they're going to have to play Alabama level of up and down the court just to get shots for everybody and keep them moderately happy. Maybe that's the plan. You think Shire's just going to pedal to the floor? Maybe that's the plan. Why not? You got the horses? I'd love it. I'd love it. Oh, yeah. I think it'd be really fun to watch if they truly just turned them loose. Said said, everyone except for Malawash pretty much is a ball handler. You get a rebound, don't outlet, rebound and go. Everybody run. Malawash run the middle of the court and look for lobs. Could be fun. That's number three. Caleb Foster coming back. That was three. Yeah. Let's get to number two. Just the two of us. The Masters took place over the weekend. Do you know, like, a great golfer on a heater? It's something special to watch. And as boring as it is, and I said this uh, when we made our picks last, what was it, Wednesday. I said, like, I feel bad because I have my my nerdy, I'll call it proprietary. I don't tell anybody my formula. But I have certain stats that I plug in based on form, based in style of play and everything. Uh, certain stats from from PGA and Data Golf. I gave all the, the hat tips and shout outs that I needed to um, to decide who I bet on in the Masters. And the worst part was 
Scotty Scheffler was a severe betting favorite, and my numbers severely favored Scotty Scheffler. And I was like, that's not fun, right? Giving out betting picks, and you're like, hey, guess who I think is, you know, going to, um, I don't know, be most – like, if you're betting on first-team all-pro quarterback, it's kind of boring to go, like, Mahomes. Uh, so it was kind of boring. I was like, I think I think you have to go Scheffler. Well, guess what Scheffler did? Proved everybody right. There hasn't been a pre-tournament favorite at the Masters like Scotty Scheffler since Tiger Woods at his peak. And there hasn't been, uh, obviously, a favorite like that to follow through on it since Tiger Woods at his peak. It's one thing to have everybody think you're in form, to think you're the best golfer in the world, to think you you should win this tournament, which is very tough with a very, very tough field. And the, the conditions weren't great. There was heavy winds and the, the, the course was kept in a way that made it difficult. It's one thing for everybody to think you should win. It's a whole other beast, beast to then go out there and back them all up. Now it's how far can he take it? Now it's you won the first major and the players to start the, the season. How many can you win? Are you Tiger-like? Like everyone is Tiger-esque, Tiger-like, Tiger uh, similar to Tiger. Like everybody's got their own way to put it. If he's truly that way, we might in for, be in for a heck of a season. Here's Scotty Scheffler asked about his recent success. Do you sense that you're doing something different and something special right now? I try not to, to think about the past or the future too much. I, I love trying to live in the present. I've had a really good start to the year, and I hope that I can continue on this, this path that I'm on. I'm going to continue to put in the work that's that's got me here. He, sometimes I think, by the way, that is like a, a wildly uh, good for golf answer, right? The more you can stay present, the better. But sometimes I do think we turn – whoever wins a golf tournament into like Yoda, right? They have to answer questions some way. And we just take them as like, Oh, look at this. What great insight. Um, Max Homa was playing really, really well. And I think he finished third. So he played really, really well. Um, but he was in the mix to win the masters. And, and one of the things he said, I think it was after his round on Saturday, they talked about like his, his mind space and everything. And he said, you know, if I ever feel the thoughts of of you know what could go wrong popping into my head i let myself dream about what could go right and everyone was like whoa this dude is deep look at look at that that that's such a good thought process for an elite athlete whoa and that's when he was you know i think tied for second at the masters he ended up not winning haven't heard anyone reference it since sunday <laughs> Because everyone's talking about Scotty Scheffler. Whoa. He has his priorities on right. He said, you know, he's becoming a dad. He's got his first time kid due any any day now. And he was saying golf was going to get knocked down the priority list. Everyone's like, whoa. He has his priorities such in perfect order. And I'm going like, yeah, would you say that if he finished 38th and was like, I don't know, it's not my priority anymore. Everyone would be completely changing it, right? Sometimes we look at the guy that won the golf tournament and we act like they're like the Dalai Lama or something. It's like Confucius say, all that kind of uh, like highbrow thinking. Maybe he struck it well this week. Maybe he got a lucky ruling on a, on a man-made hazard and he got to drop, get a free drop, and it set him up for a win. Maybe he just played really good golf. But either way, whatever he's thinking, whatever he's doing, Scotty Scheffler is playing wildly good golf and i'm going to appreciate it for as long as it lasts because these runs that he's on don't come around very often that's number two let's get to number one the one the canes won two more games over the weekend yeah they did they are on a five game winning streak with let's one go. more regular season game before the postseason gets started there was a mix of i would say beauty and and grinding to get through the two games this past weekend. Here's Rod Brindamore on uh, particularly Sunday against Chicago being a tough game to play and get through. I thought it was, you know, I thought we were okay. Uh, yeah, it was a tough game to play. Uh, we, we, we got our eyes on some other things, and, you know, to get through a game like this, um, 
I thought we got going a little bit. I thought Peter Mraz made some great saves, and we missed a couple little empty netters and kind of, you know, then hung around, right? And we were able to power play, and penalty kill was a difference tonight, which, uh, you know, got us to win. It was tough, and they did get through it. But they didn't just get through it. Uh, the, the, um, my college football coach used to call buys get better week, and it was just a different way to think of it. Like, get through it makes it sound like like they were pushing through it. They were they were getting – like, they were the better team on the ice, even though they found themselves down 1-0 and down 2-1. They, they, they still found a way to win by multiple goals, and I know the empty netter thing always is a is – a, uh, uh, like, oh, should it really count? No, it definitely should count because they had to do it to clinch it, and they found a way to make it happen, and they had to uh, get the defensive stop. Like, those, they matter. Yeah. Yeah, you're up 3-2. You don't earn the puck back and get an empty netter. means the other team has the puck. They might score and tie the game. Yeah, empty netters do matter. They they matter, and they count, and they, they give you an insurance goal and, and – Give the Canes all the credit in the world for finding a way to win a game when they didn't start hot. Being able to turn a game, you know, and and actually I should ask you before I get into this, Dennis, do you believe in momentum? Yeah, I okay, do. Okay, good. Uh, some of the, you know, for lack of a better term, analytics nerds, mm -hmm. uh, try to argue that momentum doesn't exist. Uh, I, I believe every athlete, both former and current, will tell you, like, well, you haven't been on the side when it flips against you then because uh, it is palpable. You can feel it, and it is a harrowing, harrowing experience when, like, you feel like everything's going your way, you're playing well, or even you're, you feel like you're at the beginning of a game where you're just throwing jabs and everybody's feeling each other out, and then all of a sudden, like, the gravity of the whole stadium turns and the momentum is against you. It, it, it you can feel it it is a unbelievably unbelievably important skill and rare skill to feel that shift against you and to be able to almost grab it and shift grab the wheel back and turn it back in your favor and i know that's you know more easily said than done and i know it was just chicago at the end of a regular season in which they have 23 wins but any practice and any success you can have doing that going into the postseason is worth its weight in gold because it's similar to what you described earlier with the, the series five years ago, right? It's going down 2-0, and the world feels like it's turned against you, and you, with just the people in your locker room, the coaches and the players, have to grab the wheel and turn it back into your favor. That's not easy, and the more success you have doing that in little and, little and big, small and, and, and big examples is worth its weight in gold. So having a real recent example of doing that is important. Uh, the other thing is they now have one more game left tomorrow on the road. feels like they've been on the road for a while now. Mm -hmm. uh, on the road at Columbus, not the scariest opponent. No, no, Columbus stinks. <laughs> I said it a little bit more. No, nah, I was being straightforward. <laughs> a, little bit, a little bit more uh, politely. Um, they have to balance the two things, right? Playing a game, uh, getting guys to, to – you know, be in rhythm a bit, but also getting ready for the playoffs. Rod Brindamore has talked about the challenge of doing that over the past couple. We all know that we're in the playoffs. So what do we, and, you know, maybe we move up, but chances are probably not. And we're not, no one's catching us. Like it's been a, that's why I give my guys a lot of credit because we've been in this spot for a while and yet we still find ways to get it done. So I think it says a lot about the group and they understand they have a job to do regardless and they've been doing it. Dennis, 30 seconds or less, how many guys are you resting uh, for the game tomorrow? All of them. <laughs> I, mean, I, 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 I take that back. Um, if the Rangers lose tonight, I'm playing my guys because that means the top spot in the Metropolitan Division is there. If the Rangers lose tonight, even in overtime, and the Canes win tomorrow, they win the Metro. Meaning the Rangers win the Metro. No, if, if the Rangers lose today. Okay. And the Canes win tomorrow. Even in overtime. Even the in Canes overtime, win. Canes win. I Simple as that. that. Simple as that. So if that's the case, then my guys, yes, I'm playing. But if the Rangers win tonight and you're not moving up or down in the standings, you're already pretty much locked in, I rest as many of my top guys as possible. 
The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. We're going to go back to Dennis later in the show uh, to round out the show to give us all the playoff scenarios, who they might be playing, who they should be playing, who they want to be playing, what the the – how much could be decided tonight. There's a, a lot to, to get to, and we'll break it all down. Right now, though, I want to tell you about my friends over at Miller Lending, and that includes Gordon Miller, uh, the home of the no-cost loan. I love saying that, right? Gordon's been doing no-closing-cost loans since 1987. And, I mean, some people believe they can predict the rates. Obviously, the Fed has a huge impact on that, whether cuts are coming, whether caps are coming. The fact of the matter is, if you locked in a high rate over the last year or two, the number one thing you want to be is is ready to take advantage of rates if and when they do drop. So give Miller Lending a call, right? They do a no-closing-cost loan, which means you don't even need the cash to come out of your pocket to take advantage of those falling loans or falling rates, excuse me. You, you just call them up, do a no-closing-cost refinance uh, if rates drop, and you can take advantage of it and lower your monthly rate, which is what everyone's goal is, right? Lower your monthly rate. Go ahead and give them a call. The phone number is easy, 919-447-3377. That's 919-447-3377. Or you can visit them online at MillerLending.com. That's MillerLending.com. Miller Lending is an equal housing lender, NMLS number 250-2146. Before we take a break here, we need numbers game contestants. Uh, we are giving away today, as a prize, a $50 gift card to The Mix Bottle Shop and Bar. You need to check out The Mix Bottle Shop and Bar in Raleigh. You can chill inside or outside with one of their amazing craft cocktails, craft beer, and unique wine selection located between Sharkies and Wiraji in Durley, uh, in Durley Corner. So go ahead and check them out. It is The Mix and if you want to win the $50 gift card, you have to call in now, 919-860-5326, 919-860-5326. We need two contestants. Numbers game next. Hey, it's Adam Gold, and do you have a late-night craving for in-depth analysis on the Carolina Hurricanes and their latest game, their latest win, their pursuit of the Stanley Cup? Well, I can quench your thirst. I can feed that appetite on the Canes Corner Podcast, the morning after edition, which drops the morning after every Hurricanes game. Get it wherever you get your podcast. Brought to you by the Aluminum Company of North Carolina. To tell you that Keno picks 20 winning numbers, we wrote a winning number of our own. Hit it, boys. You pick up the 10. Keno picks 20. It's easy to play for a whole lot of money. Winning numbers are everywhere with Keno from the North Carolina Education Lottery. Must be 18 to play. Approximate overall odds to win a prize range from 1 in 3.86 to 16.63. Problem gambling helpline 877-718-5543. QC Kinetics announces the arrival of National Medical Director Dr. Mitchell Scheinkup, an acclaimed orthopedic surgeon with two decades of experience and extensive research in regenerative medicine. And I was one of the first orthopedic surgeons to do it. And at the same time, I integrated clinical research that's resulted in several publications that are really directing the future of regenerative medicine. I was drawn to QC Kinetics after I reviewed their protocols and everything they were doing is consistent with my own approach. Today, Dr. Sheinkup leads the entire team of medical professionals at QC Kinetics, taking this exciting medical breakthrough to a whole new level. What we are doing at QC Kinetics is transforming lives. Get lasting joint pain relief. Call QC Kinetics now for your free consultation. This is the future of medicine. Call QC Kinetics, 919-400-5473. That's 919-400-5473. In Cary, Clayton, Raleigh, and Wake Forest, 919-400-5473. The moment we've been waiting for has arrived. Download the Caesar Sportsbook app today using code NEWNCBG. Then place your first bet of $5 or more. Win or lose, you'll receive $150 in bonus bets. Open to new users in North Carolina who are 21 or older. Terms and conditions apply. See Caesars.com backslash promos or the promos tab in the app for full terms. Gambling problem? Call 1-877-718-5543 or visit morethanagamenc.gov. Tribal Casino Gaming Enterprise is a licensed operator by the North Carolina State Lottery Commission. Pulling up to Mickey D's just for drinks? Oh yeah, that's me. Nothing extra, just perfection and a straw. Coming in hot for the coldest cups on the block. Because there are drinks. 
then there are drinks from McDonald's. Now get an ice cold lemonade, frozen Coca Cola, or iced coffee. Any size for just one seventy nine. Ba da ba ba ba. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with any other offer or combo meal. Nothing beats a fairway green lawn. Here's Kevin from Fairway Green. Time to get busy, right? Yes, it's nice. We're starting to warm up, and time is running out to get that first application of pre-emergent crabgrass control down before that crabgrass starts to germinate. Both warm and cool season grasses need attention this time of the year. You want to make sure you're using the right products on your lawn this time of the year. Nothing beats a fairway green lawn. Put them to work on yours now. Go to fairwaygreen.com to request a free online estimate or call 919-329-0095. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Hello, I'm John Heaster for the Heaster Automotive Group. And you know, we're constantly looking for ways to serve you better. One of the ways we do that is with something we call a go-see. And that's where you select a vehicle from our inventory, and we have thousands, and we get one of our product specialists to bring that vehicle to you at your convenience. How do we do that? Well, it's simple. We have a group of employees that are evaluated based on the number of presentations they do. They're glad to do it. So it's just one more way. We get off our keister and bring Heaster to you. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. It is time to play the numbers game. We have our two contestants on the line. They are competing for a $50 gift card to The Mix Bottle Shop and Bar. You need to check out The Mix Bottle Shop and Bar in Raleigh. You can chill inside or outside with one of their amazing craft cocktails, craft beer, and unique wine selection located between Sharkies and Wurrarji in uh, Durley Corners. So go ahead and check them all out. Now, Dylan and Raleigh. It's a Monday. We always have the same question, and we pick our favorite answer to see who goes first. Uh, what was the highlight of your sports weekend? What was the favorite thing about your weekend? But it has to be sports related. Uh, pickup basketball. What did, what, did you say? Pickup basketball. Pickup basketball. Yes, sir. Love pickup basketball. Uh, Dylan, we'll see if it holds up. Sal, are you there? Yes. What was the highlight of your weekend? But it has to be sports related. Oh yeah. Uh, watching the Rangers beat the Islanders in overtime and having the Yankees take two out of three against Cleveland. I respect your fandom, but if you thought the Rangers were going to get you picked going first on this station, I got news for you. Uh, Dylan and Raleigh gets to go first in a landslide. Uh, Dylan, are you there? Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right. Pick your category. The, the categories are NFL, G-Men, all last names that start with G. NFL starts with H, all last name that starts with H. NBA, current players only, and NHL, Canes and Whalers only. Let's go, Kane. All right. Uh, the way this works, I will give you the team and the player. I will give you the team, even though we know what it is, just to keep it fair with the uh, the other categories. Uh, give me the jersey number as quickly as you can. 30 seconds on the clock. One pass if you need it. Any last-second questions? We're ready. Let's do it. All right. Your time will start when you hear the horn. Martin Natchez, Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, 88. Correct. Morgan Geeky, Carolina Hurricanes. Ooh, 39. Incorrect. Tim Brent, Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, pass. Uh, Stephen Halko, Carolina Hurricanes. 61. Incorrect. Morgan Geeky, Carolina Hurricanes. 35. Incorrect. Tim Brent, Carolina Hurricanes. 60. Incorrect. Stephen Halko, Carolina Hurricanes. 79. Incorrect. Morgan Geeky, Carolina Hurricanes. You got Natchez. You got Natchez. There's always that. Uh, Morgan Geeky with the Hurricanes wore number 43, 45, and 67. We would have accepted any of them. Uh, Brent with the Canes wore number 37. Pretty pretty famous number now. And uh, Halco with the Canes wears uh, wore number 14. Those are the uh, the answers you missed, but you did get Natchez with 88. Uh, so we'll see if your, your one holds up, okay? Yes, sir. All right. We'll go to Sal in Morrisville. Sal, are you there? Yes, sir. All right. You get to pick out of the remaining categories. NFL last name start with G, and NFL last name starts with H, or NBA current players only. Let me 
we got NFL star last name with G. G. All right. Uh, same rules apply. I will give you the team and the player. You give me the jersey number as quickly as you can. 30 seconds on the clock. You have one pass if you need it. Any last second questions? Nope. All right. Your time will start when you hear the horn. Jared Goff, Detroit Lions. Uh, 16. Correct. Tony Gonzalez, Kansas City Chiefs. 81. Incorrect. Michael Gallup, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, oh, God. Uh, 81. Incorrect. Tony Gonzalez, Kansas City Chiefs. 84. Five. Incorrect. Michael Gallup, Dallas Cowboys. 18. Incorrect. Tony Gonzalez, Kansas City Chiefs. 82. Incorrect. Michael Gallup, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, 83. Incorrect. Tony Gonzalez, Kansas City Chiefs. 83. Incorrect. I have to. We. I don't know if we've ever gotten more guesses in in one turn, uh, but only one of them was right. Jared Goff, 16. You nailed that one right out the gate. Tony Gonzalez with the Chiefs wore number 88. 88. And Michael Gallup with Dallas were number 13. You did give us 18, which is kind of looks like 13. You just got to finish the other side. Uh, however, the one, not good enough because a tie always goes to whoever goes first. So, Sal, hopefully you had a fun time playing. I will. I did. I'll, pl- I'll try again tomorrow, maybe. <laughs> uh, all right. We'll see. Uh, appreciate it, Sal. Dylan and Raleigh, you are the winner. Hey, I appreciate it, Sam. Thank you, bro. You are the uh, you are the winner, so go ahead and sit on the line and make sure Dennis gets all the info he needs to get you your gift certificate, all right? All right, sounds good. There you go. Well, I wouldn't say it's the hottest start to a week, but like I said, we it was high energy. We got a lot of guesses in there. When, again, wouldn't say it's the, the best, but there's a lot. Uh, everybody, just so you know, later this week, we will be actually acting on our 10K playoff payout. We have selected our... Um, we have selected our contestants. They've been notified. It's going to be a blast. I've I've uh, very rarely had the opportunity to potentially give away ten thousand. Uh, so so looking forward to that, and we'll, we'll keep you updated as it gets closer later this week, and we'll keep you updated on how it goes. Also, I believe we have uh, selected our winner uh, for our YouTube 10,000 subscriber giveaway. We are now well over ten thousand subscribers on YouTube. We want more of you to get there. I mean. Here's what I think you can learn from this. Hmm. Uh, we hit 10,000 subscribers. Yeah. Uh, we put together a sweet giveaway. We did. We've, pick, we've picked a winner. Mm-hmm. They've. We're allowed to say what it is now, right? Yeah, I believe we are. Okay. So we gave them a whole bunch of current canes to choose a signed hockey puck from their favorite player amongst the giant list we gave them. Uh, and they were allowed to pick uh, concert tickets to a whole mess of concerts that, that we had uh available to them over the summer. We're talking everything from massive stand-up comedians to massive bands to almost like festival lineups. Like they're, they're yeah, Outlaw Music Festival is an option. Like Aerosmith, Sebastian Maniscalco. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. Like there was there. So my point being, it was kind of a custom uh, prize where you got to pick your favorite cane and your favorite concert to, to kind of build the package together. Um, but the lesson that everyone else can learn is when we hit massive milestones on our YouTube subscribers, there's a good chance you're going to have a chance to win something really cool. Mm -hmm. So help us hit more massive YouTube subscriber milestones. Uh, We're now past 10,000, and we're soaring towards whatever the next milestone is. Uh, So tell your friends. If you're not subscribing, already subscribe uh, and, and pass it along. Watch the videos, comment, like. Um, pass it along to, you know, if you like a video, send it to your friend that's a fan of the team we're talking about, and uh, and we'll greatly appreciate it. And we'll ch- try to do our best, you know, sporadically to take care of you with prizes. And also, we do Tuesday feedback mm-hmm. on Tuesdays. We read the YouTube comments that people leave. So sometimes you might be driving, again, you're watching this on YouTube. You're not able to just tweet at us directly. It kind of gets lost in the shuffle there. But something specific mm-hmm. you want to say on a on a point that Tim or I make, you disagree, let us know. If you agree, let us know. If you have a different point of view, let us know. We like hearing what you all as fans uh, think about the things that we're talking about. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Want to tell you about my friends, my partners over at DraftKings. Uh, the 82-game preseason is in the books, and it's finally time for the real season. Don't miss out on any of the NBA playoff action at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. And and listen, 
We are a little over a month into being live with the DraftKings Sportsbook app here in North Carolina. If you're new to this whole sports betting thing, that's fine. You can start super easy. Try betting on something simple like a team to win a game. And in, in the postseason, especially these play-ins, that's that's maybe the easiest way to think of it, right? It's win or go home uh, in a few of these situations. So just bet on a team to win in, in a win or go home opportunity. Go to the app, select your team, place your first bet, it's that simple. And here's something else to sweeten the deal for new customers. If you bet $5, and you can get $200 in bonus bets instantly. New customers, download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code TIMD, T-I-M-D, with no spaces when you sign up. That's code TIMD. And then when you bet your first $5, you'll get $200 in bonus bets instantly. Only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 8-777-185-543 or visit morethanagame.nc.gov. 21 plus North Carolina only. Bonus bets expire 168 hours after issuance. Deposit and eligibility restrictions apply. Terms at sportsbook.com. Sorry, let me get that right. Terms at sportsbook.draftkings.com slash basketball terms. Had to make sure I got that one right. All the playoff scenarios for the Carolina Hurricanes that could play out tonight and into the future are coming up next. Stick around. We buy any car. We buy any car. We buy any car. Any, any, any. Did you know trading in your car at a dealer could cost you money? Research shows consumers who trade in their car pay an average of $990 more. So don't trade in, sell it to We Buy Any Car. Get your free online valuation now at We Buy Any Car. Research published in the Journal of Industrial Economics December 2015 showed buyers with a trade-in pay an average of $990 more than those who do not trade in their used cars. Hey homeowners, this is Keith Gregory with Home Exteriors by Baker Roofing. We have a lot of new neighbors moving to our area, and as a company that was founded in Raleigh in 1915, we would like to formally welcome you home. Our history of excellence is best summed up in our commitment. We shall do good work at a profit if we can, at a loss if we must, but always good work. To learn more about our roofing, siding, window, door, and gutter services, visit bakerroofing.com. It's bow time. <coughs> Something new just dropped at Bojangles. Take the bold taste of a crispy golden chicken supreme that's been seasoned to perfection, then add dill pickles, Carolina gold barbecue sauce, and a toasted bun that's great on the go. What do you get? You get a Bose Bird Dog. In fact, you can grab two of them for five bucks. So when you're on the go, headed to practice, or need a snack, grab a Bo's Bird Dog. Hurry in before they're gone. Available for a limited time. It's Bo time. There's no time like Bo time, but sometimes it's go time. No time to stop. Introducing Bojangles' new Bird Dog, a season to perfection Bojangles Chicken Supreme, dill pickles, Carolina Gold barbecue sauce, all on a toasted bun. Great on the go. Try two bird dogs for just $5 or a two bird dog combo for just $8. Hurry, Bo's bird dogs are available for a limited time only. When you're hungry for flavor and value, it's Bo time. We all know what UV rays can do to our skin, but they can also do damage to your car. Keep that from happening with 303 Protectant. 303 Protectant keeps the sun's harmful rays from causing fading and cracking in rubber, plastic, or vinyl surfaces. From the dashboard to the tires, 303 Protectant keeps your car looking new longer. Get 303 Protectant today at AutoZone. Visit 303radio.com for more information. The greatest American rock and roll band in history, Aerosmith. Present... Peace out, the farewell tour. Aerosmith, with special guests, the Black Crows. PNC Arena Raleigh, February 20th, 2025. Get tickets now at LiveNation.com. Aerosmith, with the Black Crows, the farewell tour. Peace out. <laughs> What's wrong? My travel rewards card didn't earn enough miles for my vacation. <laughs> Are you crying? Are you crying because of that other credit card? Uh-huh. Well, switch to the Capital One Venture Card. Venture lets you redeem miles on any travel purchase. Really? Yep, and you earn unlimited double miles on every purchase every single day. The Capital One Venture Card. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com for details. Now. 
Now your ideas don't have to wait. Now they have everything they need to come to life. Dell Technologies and Intel are creating technology that loves ideas, loves expanding your business, evolving your passions. We push what technology can do, so great ideas can happen right now. Find out how to bring your ideas to life at Dell.com. Welcome to now. Lowe's knows pros need the right tools for every job. That's why we sell the largest in-store selection of Klein tools anywhere. Find new items like the self-leveling green laser level for just $159.98. Plus, shop the Connect Pass-Through Socket Set for $49.98, which you can only find at Lowe's. Shop Klein tools in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows tools. Lowe's knows pros. O'Reilly Auto Parts offers more than just the right parts for your repair. Our professional parts people can also test your battery, install your new wiper blades, and diagnose your check engine light for free. For the best service, advice, auto parts, and accessories, stop by the new O'Reilly Auto Parts in Bunn on Main Street next to Hardee's. Oh, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. The Drive with Tim Donnelly, 99.9 The Fan. Before we get to all of the different possible um, all the different possible playoff scenarios, Duke, we were talking about a lot about the transfer portal. Uh, three minutes ago, is it Jaden Shutt? This is what I'm talking about where Duke just has, like, massive – recruits stacked on top of each other mm -hmm. a six foot five shooting guard from yorkville illinois a one-time top 100 recruit in the country as a prospect is hitting the transfer port okay probably not a lot of opportunity for him to find the floor next year probably not which is crazy and i, I believe let me make sure he's i i have this right i believe he's it's not like he was a freshman last year he's been there a little bit and um Stuck it out, and a former four-star recruit. He's pleased with his time in Duke, special place. Uh, he redshirted this season, former four-star recruit. So the six-five sophomore redshirted, so he'll have be a redshirt sophomore, I believe, again, wherever he ends up. Yeah, so um, three years of eligibility. He'll be a big-time player in the portal. <laughs> Probably. Uh, former top 100 recruit in the country. N couldn't really work his way into a, a, a big role for Duke, um, but he redshirted this past year. So he's in the portal. Just want to update you on it. Now I want to update you on NHL playoff scenarios. Oh, yes. Uh, and for that, we turn to our very own Dennis Cox. Oh, okay. So if you're a Canes fan, you need to be rooting for tonight the Ottawa Senators to win. Simply flat out. If the Ottawa Senators win today over the New York Rangers, whether that is shootout, overtime, mm -hmm. or regulation, if the Senators win, it opens the door up for Carolina tomorrow to take the Metropolitan Division. Which would mean? Which would mean if you win the Metropolitan Division, you have the best record in the Eastern Conference, whole home ice advantage throughout. So it means first, second round, third round, even potentially Stanley Cup Finals. You have home ice advantage. That's what's at stake. Because right now, Carolina can finish no, no lower than second in the Metro Division. They're going to have home ice in, in round one. But if the Rangers also advance to the second round, just like Carolina does, the way things currently stand, Canes have to go on the road, which means the Rangers would have home ice advantage. So they play games one, two, five, and seven at Madison Square Garden. Much rather have one, two, five, and seven at PNC Arena. So that's what's at stake tonight. If that happens, again, Senators win today mm -hmm. in some way, shape, or form, doors open tomorrow. If the Rangers win in any way, shape, or form, Canes can't win the Metro Division, making tomorrow basically obsolete. I'll bring my skates, fly me to Columbus, I'll play tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, I'd, that's fine. As a body we don't care gets injured? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Cox, go blow out your ACL. <laughs> Let's go. I'll block shots. Why not? I mean, yeah, pretty much. Now, here are some other games that are 
I guess there are some other games that are of consequence for mm-hmm. Carolina because as of right now, the New York Islanders are who the Carolina Hurricanes would face in this in the uh, based off the the current standings. The Islanders are third in the Metro Division. There's no way they're going to chase you know chase down Carolina, but the Islanders have two games left right now. They are holding off Washington and Philadelphia and Pittsburgh in the Eastern Conference or just in the Metropolitan Division alone. Mm-hmm. They're holding off those three teams. Now, some other games we do see tonight, for example, the National Predators are on the road at the Pittsburgh Penguins, a team that Carolina can face. The Boston Bruins are at the Washington Capitals, a team that the the Carolina Hurricanes could face. But also, some, another team to keep in mind is Detroit. Now, Detroit's in the Atlantic Division, not in the Metro. Detroit's trying to push for the final wild card spot. Right now, the Rangers are set to play whomever wild card team number two would be, which could be the New York, uh, which could be the Detroit Red Wings. If Carolina wins the division, they play wild card number two, which could be any one of the Islanders, the Capitals, Detroit, Philly, or Pittsburgh. So there are five potential teams right now the Carolina Hurricanes could face in the first round of the playoffs. It's the the next three days is going to determine. So much for Carolina. And really, honestly, they have not a whole lot of control over it. I, I kind of love it. Oh, I love it, too. I think it's awesome. For, obviously, all the all the games that have stakes down the stretch. But also, it kind of forces the Canes to focus on them, right? You you can't get too bogged down in matchups, or you can't get too bogged down in uh, how, how does the, you know, if we're locked in to play this team, what's their style of play, mm-hmm. or how do you? Uh, t- it's it's kind of focusing them to focus on them as they get ready for the postseason, focus on themselves, and then and then eventually, uh, you know, you can add in game plan and scouting report and, and the like. But tonight's game is going to determine a whole lot, because again, if the Rangers win, Carolina's locked as the second team in the Metropolitan Division. Now, if the New York Islanders win tonight. They're going to lock up the third spot in the Metro Division. The New York Islanders today are on the road at the New Jersey Devils. If they win today in any way, shape, or form, they're still going to be three points ahead of Washington, Philadelphia, four points ahead of of Pittsburgh with no opportunity for them to catch it. So if the Islanders win today along with the Rangers, it's going to be Kane's Islanders. We might know that for a fact tonight. Which would be less good for what I was saying, but still maybe the opposite is true. Yeah. Um, and I'll say this, going back to your point about home ice, mm-hmm. uh, it wasn't that long ago we read the NHL Players Association Players Survey yeah. where 500 and some odd players responded, and they all well, – not they all said, but second most popular answer as far as which place do you like to play the least, PNC Arena. Mm-hmm. So having home ice – like there is a home ice advantage for the Canes in, when they play at, at home in PNC, um, and, you know, the – Anonymous survey confirmed that it it becomes a bigger deal as far as if it's possible, do what you can to get that home ice, even if it gets you the president's trophy. And I know Dennis is all bent out of shape about it. It doesn't always add up. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying go for it. Uh, the drive with Tim Donnelly, 99, nine, the fan want to tell you about my friends at window nation. Uh, I spent a lot of time outside this weekend and I can tell you it's heating up. It's heating up. I, I walked outside today. I can tell you it's roasting first hand experience what does that mean you want to make sure your windows are working appropriately they're not cracked they're not leaking they they stay open when they should or they stay closed when they should uh or they open easily and the reason being because you want to make sure your energy meaning the you know the energy you spend to keep your house cool when it's a billion degrees outside stays inside you don't want to try to cool down the outside. That's that's expensive. Right now, Window Nation can come out to your house, do an evaluation, explain to you what's going on with your windows, and, of course, they can offer you a buy two windows, get two free deal for as many windows as you need. There is no limit on your savings. Buy two windows, get two free, plus zero down, zero interest, and no payments for 24 months. Zero down, zero interest, and no payments for 24 months. They can install your new windows in one day or less, uh, and and they come with a lifetime warranty. There you go. It's easy to set it all up. Just give them a call, 866-90-NATION, or visit windownation.com to schedule now. 866-90-NATION, or visit windownation.com. Overdrive is coming up next right here on 99.9 The Fan. Uh, We have to dive deeper into the Canes' two wins over the weekend. 
or I should say more appropriately, since it's overdrive, we dove in to the Canes' two wins over the weekend earlier, and we're going to replay that for you to start overdrive. We're also going to talk the portal, so there's a lot to get to here on uh, Overdrive on 99.9 The Fan. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, 99.9 The Fan. We'll see you tomorrow for more of The Drive starting at 3. Until then, have a great night, everybody. You're always close to the Canes with 99.9 The Fan. 47 seconds left in overtime. Jarvis now with speed. Drop for inches. He scores! to bring you every Canes game night and the latest Canes news from insider Adam Gold. Your official home for the Carolina Hurricanes. 99.9 The Fan. The Tri- Good-guys.com. Sanja loves to bake, but her feet, they were throbbing. Then one day, I found a solution. Arch supports from the Good Feet store. Half foot pain? Good Feet could help. You too can live the life you love with Arch supports from the Good Feet store. <coughs> Hello? Man, where are you? I thought you were coming. I can't. I'm in bed with the flu. <coughs> the flu? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Grandma's about to crowd, sir. Man, I'll call you back. Don't get stuck at home with the flu. A flu shot is safe, effective, and you can get it at the same time as your COVID-19 vaccine. A flu shot is the best way to prevent the flu and its potentially serious complications. Don't get flu FOMO. Learn more at GetMyFluShot.org. Brought to you by the AMA, CDC, and the Ad Council. Whether you're moving into a new home or sprucing up your outdoor space, get more done with the versatility of the Steel Combi System Multitasking Tool. The Steel KMA ADR Combi Motor is compatible with up to 14 different powerhead attachments, allowing you to trim, edge, cultivate, and more. Right now, save $50 on the battery-powered KMA ADR Combi Motor with AK30 battery, AL101 charger, and line trimmer attachment. Real steel. Find yours at steeldealers.com. Offer valid for a limited time only while supplies last. Additional attachments sold separately. See participating dealer for details. Direct auto insurance is for uncompromisers. The people who refuse to make trade-offs in life. Like Kelly, when her old car insurance got so expensive that she couldn't afford to drive anymore, do you think she started carrying her groceries for miles? No, but she did find Direct Auto savings that allowed her to drive instead of compromise. With savings of up to 25%, you too can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a quote today at directauto.com. Savings based on applied discounts and will vary. Terms apply. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston Sales. Imagine waking up this time next week and being 100% debt-free from credit cards, car loan, and personal loans. Hey, it's Dennis Cox. Loan Pronto's Equity Express line of credit can make it happen. Homeowners are turning their home equity into cash almost instantly. With Loan Pronto's AI-based system, you can get approval in about 10 minutes with almost no documentation, no appraisal, and no hassle. You can get hundreds of thousands of dollars out of your home. Use that money to pay off all your other loans. The average homeowner saves over $850 a month doing this. Listen, your home value is way up. You can use that to wipe out all those credit cards. Get some money for a home improvement. Literally hundreds of thousands are at your fingertips and approval is just minutes away. Call now, 919-381-1760, 919-381-1760, loanpronto.com, 919-381-1760, NMLS 1661781, subject to lender approval, equal housing lender. If you need bold banners to boost your business, but you're on a budget, think Staples. Posters, flyers, signs, and menus for less? Think Staples. Staples can print anything you need to move your business forward. Now at Staples, save $50 on your print purchase of $150 or more. Same-day service available on hundreds of items if you order by noon. And